yo, 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 yo. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Yo, 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 yo. Good evening, everybody. What's up? Welcome into the show. Hi, y'all. Durin. Good evening, one and all. Welcome in to the big show. Hi, Trader. DJ. Hey, Trader. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. That was crazy right there. Why are you so crazy? Why are you so crazy, Trader? Yeah, you. Why are you so crazy? Why are you so crazy, man? All right, listen. Um, hey, real quick. We've got 60 seconds to decide. You guys want the cat or do you want me tonight? You want, you want me? You want the cat? Quick, you got... Alex, oh, you. Mate, really? What do you feel like? Oh, look. The chat wants the cat. Chat, chat wants the cat. Okay. Bye. All right, let me see if I can figure this out. Let me let me see if I can figure this out real quick. Yeah, that's a that's a clear winner for the cat. Yeah. They can be lame if they want. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna let's see if I can do this that quick. Let's see if we can do this that quick. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! I heard, I heard cocaine helps being quick. No! What? What? Yes. What? No! It only makes you think you're quick. It doesn't actually make you quick. Mm. All right. Mm. Yo, 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 yo. All right, I think I think I got it. I think I got it. We're gonna we're gonna find out. Yo, what's up, everybody? I know <laughs> it's working. Man, look at that. I did that on the fly. I did that so on the fly. I did that so on the fly, trader. Like that was so fly. It was on the fly. Man, that was crazy on the fly. Did you see that, guys? Just see it's amazing. that. Man, <laughs> I impress even myself sometimes. Good evening, everybody. Appreciate you. <laughs> Zandy says the cat because we know you haven't unpacked your hats yet. No, I haven't. <sighs> Leave me alone about the hats. I have <laughs> I've got no hats in here. All right. It's fine. No Don't hats. Worry. No. Mm. What is wrong with the calibration on this cat? Do you know what do you want to know something funny? Ah. Yeah, what? You know, I mentioned the other night that I didn't get a real legacy real. Yeah. Did you get one today? Someone looked into it, got one, but it's bugged. <laughs> they, 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 no, no, they calculated my power gain wrong. You know that I quit when I was up 55, right? Yeah. According to the real, I gained 334 million power, which is actually impossible for an up 55. You know, I think that they're doing some things. I think that they're doing some things a little bit differently um, because my power, my power gain was pretty high too. As a matter of fact, we're going to do that tonight, guys. I have that something is weird though. I, 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 I have something they, what, exciting what numbers for you tonight. They pull from that. I I have something excited for you tonight. Uh, exciting for you. I told you that I wanted to do this the other day, and Jules and Blue beat me to a trader. We have. A Google submission form for you guys to enter in your stats. All right. You can enter in your stats. They put in a prompt for every question or every category in the uh, in the video. That way we can put our stuff in and then we can see. And so I'm going to do that for you guys tonight. I'm going to do it for you tonight. Uh, guys, thank you so very much. 60 seconds left in a hype train, 40% through level two. Thank you guys so very much. Let me say some thank yous. Uh, to Late Nighter, thank you for your 18 month resub. Trek Diva, nine month resub. Chris, son of Mac, thank you for your resub with Amazon Prime. USS Contradiction, what's going on, feline of nine? Nothing. Nothing. Thank you, USS Contradiction, for your 16 month resub. Uh, Chris, son of Mac, says, take a hydrate. Okay. Thank you. Ah, uh, Zandy's giving me uh, a good name change. Back to something tried, true, and proven, Trader. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, Ultimate DJ's plays. All right, there we go. Got it. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, I was not an expert miner. I was not. 
Wait, just the tip has already asked for FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> that lasted long. Yeah, it didn't last real long. All right. So now I got to do another thing. All right, hang on. All right, I gotta, I gotta do a thing. If you, if you guys want that, all right, I gotta turn to. Oh crap! I forget how to. What just happened? Okay, turn the cat off. Now I gotta. Oh yeah, it's that weird multi-step process. Yeah, I've got a multi-step process because of the, um, because the cat. Uh oh. Why did it not activate? Oh, because the software's still on. Okay, D disable camera, close. Man, this is a lot of work. This is probably not even really worth it. All right. <laughs> this is probably not even really worth it, to be to be frank with you. All right. Uh, all right. I think I got it. Why am I orange? What the? Why? We turn off all the lights. Reset the white, the white balance. <clears throat> Why am I orange? I look like a pumpkin right now. God, look! I, I mean, mean, I'm like, I, 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 doesn't doesn't that fit though? Pumpkins right now. I don't like, stuff, I know? don't like how orange I'm looking right now. All right, hang on a second. I'm not feeling this. I'm gonna turn off FaceTime if I can't not be orange. I'm not. I I'm not a pumpkin. It's not. I'm not a pumpkin. Why are my lights all purple? No, they're not. They're blue. Dude, my white balance is all jacked up right now. All right, hang on a second here. Hang on a second here. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Let's see if we can figure out. Oh, much better. Why is my white balance so far off tonight? Looks terrible. Okay, that's looking better now. Does that look better? What did you do? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> but this is what I'm telling you. No, no, I swear to God. Here, I'm going to pull it up for you. This is what happens, okay? The camera just changes its settings all by the weirdness by itself. It does this, man, because I'm not, I'm just So you're using saying a ghost did it. Your, your no, I'm saying OBS doesn't remember what it had for breakfast. And it just changes stuff all the time. Yeah. Ripper, tell him it's the truth. No. So here's... <laughs> <laughs> so here's here's the, the setting thing, Griffin, and I had to move... My, my white balance was all the way up here. I had to move it down. See, I don't even use those plugins for that reason. I use uh, Logic Capture's little software because it doesn't do that. Well, we may have to install that one day. Yeah, one of these days. Of you these look great days. now. Don't touch anything. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it now. Thank you. All right. Uh, Querity says, I had an achievement today. I had three Dideridexes chase me at one time, and I managed Ooh. to evade them all with my tally. Help me. I'm scared. Um, <laughs> don't be scared. As you should be. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be scared. To As you should be. Annie McGanny face says I'm in the top 1%, apparently. Ooh, congratulations to you. I have a feeling that a lot of our audience is going to be is going to be pretty highly ranked up there. Not only that, but as Ripper indicates, there's a few things that are that are kind of making me scratch my head a little bit with how they're calculating things. Like, for example, uh, you know what? I'll tell you what. Let, let's just let's just go ahead and do this. I'm going to pull up. Uh, I'm going to pull up my legacy reel, and I'm going to show you guys my legacy reel. Plus, then I'm going to show you Wardod's legacy reel, and I'm going to let you guys bet some toy mice on it. Is Wardod in the audience yet? Because I told him that I'd wait on him, but I might not. Um, yo, what's Would up? Would you be so kind as to do a mm. quick demo on how to fill out the form so we can get that? I will. Post up for I will. I'm going to okay. show everybody how to do it. Leon, thank you for your 12 month resub. Contra, thank you for your 18, uh, eight month resub. Iron Chef, thank you for your 100 kitty bitties. Appreciate that, guys. Thank you for the hype train. I appreciate that very, very much. Um, you guys are rocking awesome. Chris says, can we get a channel points redeem for DJ's pumpkin FaceTime? No. I don't like being orange. It's not my thing. That's I think not my, we should make my, that a thing, it's though. It's not my color. All right. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can find my 
legacy reel. Where did I put it? I had it in here. Oh, okay, here it is. All right, uh, here is my legacy reel. All right, so I will, um, I will show this to you, and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull up the um, – what did I just? Oh, here it is. We're going to pull up the uh, submission form as well. Yeah, here it is. We'll pull up the submission form as well, and we're going to fill some of this stuff out as we go. And then I'm going to uh, show you guys Wardod's uh, legacy reel as well in here tonight. Real quick, before I start, though, Trader, I want to draw your attention to our top bars up there. I want to shout out Sarek. Yo, Sarek, uh, thank you so very much. Let me see if I can. Where do I? Oh, no. How do I? Yeah, here we go. Sarek, uh, offline, put $150 into the Christmas Angel Fund. Thank you so very much for that, Sarek. Oh, Super amazing. awesome. Nice. Guys, I want to, I want to, I do want to also point out to you, we're over halfway. And we're only halfway through the month of October. Now, I'll tell you, Arian is super excited because the sooner we get this thing knocked out, the sooner that she can start her administrative stuff. Um, so I do just want to take a quick second and remind you of the season of giving that uh, that we have entered and what we are doing as a charitable uh, drive on this channel for this holiday season, the Christmas Angel Fund that you see right up there. We are um, taking care of a couple of families this year who may or may not otherwise have a super solid holiday season due to uh, factors going on in their lives. And so if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't seen some of the stuff that we've done in the past, uh, it's really kind of breathtaking and it's super emotional about some of the stuff that we've done in the past, but there is information on our website. You're welcome to uh, message or ask anybody about it. We will have some special reporting brought to you uh, here very, very soon, uh, introducing you guys to our families that uh, our benefit families that we're going to work with this year. But uh, that does not mitigate the challenge that lies in, in front of us. We are over halfway, but we still got a long way to go. $5,300. Uh, stands between us and our goal, and I really want to ask you guys to uh, to try to dig a little bit deeper this year and see what you might be able to do for our Christmas Angel Fund. Just to kind of give you an idea, uh, we are not like one of those kind of weird, like this is my own thing, uh, so we don't like only send 10 cents out of the dollar or something crazy like that. As a matter of fact, Trader, it's the exact opposite. Uh, if you guys donate, whether it's through PayPal or, or Venmo or any of those, you know that they take fees. We actually put in the face value. Like, I'm paying for all the fees. In addition to when we started this, I put in 2000 of my own dollars to, to start out. So um, I put in $2,000. Trader and Ripper put in a crazy amount of money. And, and you guys have brought us up to where we are right here. I pay all fees. So, like, for example, that $150 came in. Well, PayPal only sends me $140 something. I put $150 into the Christmas Angel Fund. I pay 100% of all fees associated with raising this up. So, that's how dedicated and committed I am to it. 100% uh, of your face value donation goes to the family, not even withstanding the fees. All right, so we take care of all of that because that's how seriously we take it here at Talking Trek. That is our Christmas Angel Project, and I would like to ask you guys to share it out and talk to other people about it and see what you guys might be able to do. Griffin, thank you so much. Griffin th dropping $300 in there, putting us over, putting us over $700 or $7,000 now. Uh, towards wow. our 12,000 goal. Canine Tooth! That's so amazing. Guys, man, thank you so much. Griffin uh, coming in and Canine Tooth coming in right now. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> thank you guys. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Uh, really appreciate that. Griffin with 300, Canine Tooth with $100 for the Angels, putting us at uh, just shy of $7,100. So thank you guys so very much. I really appreciate that. We've got a little bit of work left to go. But uh, once we get there, it's going to be very, very exciting uh, for me to be able to share with you one of, some of the stuff that uh, we got going on. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me first, before we begin with the Legacy Reel and the form entry, allow me to say, what's up to Dark Tree Gaming? Dark Tree Gaming, what are you doing, man? Thank you. Thank you for the raid, Dark Tree. What are you doing? Did you have a good stream, man? Did you have a good stream? I hope you did. What's up, Dark Tree Gamians? 
Can we call them Gamians? That might that could be misconstrued to be like they're gamey and they smell bad. Right? Could be. I'm not indicating that you smell bad. So I don't like the word gamey there. What are we going to call them? Dark, dark. They're obviously dark treeites. Oh, thank you. Dark treeites. I like it. That is a winner for me. Dark treeites. Thank you. Uh, that is a winner right there. <laughs> dark treeites. Good job, Griffin. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let me see here real quick. Commander Green, thank you for your 13-month resub. I kill you. Thank you for your 13-month resub. And Dark Treeites, welcome into the party. My name is DJs. This is the Litter Box. And uh, we're getting ready to check out a legacy reel. Uh, and I'm doing a, a nerdy research project with it. All right? Yes, I'm doing a nerdy research project with it. So I want to share that with you guys here uh, this evening. Uh, let's see. Querdy says, wait, what do you want to do? What poll? Oh, okay, here, I see this. Whoever has better hostiles killed between DJ and Wardod has to drop a shield and get raided for five minutes. First of all, Wardod already owes me an hour, dude. Wardod owes me an hour, <laughs> okay? I just haven't taken him up on it yet. So I should probably do it soon, you know, before G6 launches, because then he'll be broke. So, <laughs> so I, I should probably do that soon. Uh, MacRack, thank you for your 18-month resub. So, okay, Querdy wants to put up a poll, Trader. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's put up the poll. I'm not going to put Toy Mice on it, although we should. So you want to put Toy Mice on it? Who has more, more hostels? You want Toy Mice or just a poll? I'll do, I'll do whatever one you want. Yeah, Count DeVille says, obviously, we got to put Toy Mice on it. All right. Who has killed more hostiles? DJs, Wardod. All right. That's good. DJs and Wardod. Submission period will be fine. Actually, I'll go two minutes. There you go. It's up in the chat. There you go. All right. What's a poll without mice? There you go. I get it. Um, yo, yo, yo. ATL shawty. Yeah. Thank you for putting a hundred dollars into the catnip jar. Thank you so very much for the Christmas angel fun. Uh, that puts us at $500 here tonight. Thank you so very much. That is so nice. nice. Thank you. I really, really do appreciate that. Um, first of all, let me just point out that I am disgusted right now. Trader. Yeah. Why? With the fact that 0% of the audience think I have killed more hostiles than Wardod. <laughs> well, I don't I don't know what to say about it, so I'm not gonna say anything. You guys are probably right. I hate grinding. I I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> this is good though. Listen, Daddy Dave, if you win, it's gonna be so huge for you. Oh Total my windfall. What the heck was that? Was, oh, is that the, the Discord soundboard? I'm for oh I need to turn that off. Uh, no, that was uh, just someone joining in Discord. Wait, what? No. Wait, what was that sound? I, I didn't mean to come in like that, but I did. <laughs> Blue comes in. Blue comes in with the big air horn. Yo, I'm here, everybody. I'm here. Don't worry about it. Sorry, I'm late. My bad. I'm here. I'm here. Don't worry about it. All right. <laughs> Dang, the theme song's not good enough. He's got his own horn. He's got his own horn over there. <laughs> if you were, like, late to class at work and, like, stepped on an air horn on the way in. Yeah, you know? obviously. You know, you just, you kind of accidentally drop it out of your backpack, and it's just like. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. I was, I'm just going to take a seat. I'm just... Sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. Really sorry. Didn't mean to. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. It, it just, it slipped. The button slipped. All right, uh, guys. Submissions are closed. 14%. Think that I got more uh, more hostiles killed. Well, we're going to find out, Trader. We're going to find out. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you guys this side by side. What we've got here is... Um, where did my legacy reel go? Wait, no, that's not what I meant to do. Where did my legacy reel go? Oh, here it is. Okay, got it. Right there it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch a piece of this legacy reel. We're going to pause it as we go through. 
And, uh, and what we'll do is we're going to enter in this form. Now, I'm going to give you guys the link. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll put it in the chat if you guys want this. Uh, let me see. Where is it, Blue? Here, here it is. Google Form link. I'm going to copy that link, and I'll bring it over into the Twitch chat for you guys. All right. Uh, boom. There it is. If you – why is that not sending? There we go. There's the Google Forms link, all right? So you do have to have a Google email account, and yada, yada, yada. Uh, but you'll then go, and you'll, you'll pull up your, um, your legacy reel, and we'll start going through. So uh, there's some universal things here, Trader. Uh, in the beginning and, you know, the next chapter and all that stuff. So we're going to go through this. As a matter of fact, do you guys want to watch it once all the way through and then we'll go back through and put in our data? Okay, does that sound cool? Wolfwood says I need to sit down and be wrong. All right, so here we go. Here is Ultimate DJs, which unfortunately at the time my video was made, my name was Wapow. All right. <laughs> so oh, come on. It wasn't my fault, all right, at the time that that was what it was. All right, so here's Wapow's uh, legacy reel. Here, you guys take a quick peek. It was a different time. This, by the way, is so cool. Such excellent videography here. There's one. I was pretty lazy on missions. But since then, I've been kicking ass and taking names. 488,000 battles, 3,000 missions completed. Oh, God, all that work makes me hungry. I want some lasagna. 99.7% percentile. I don't think I said that right. Percent percentile. 368,000 hostiles killed. 12 trillion damage inflicted upon the galaxy. Three and a half billion power destroyed. Oh, that's embarrassing. That's also embarrassing. Guys, let me just say, let me just say, this is so much better than I could have actually expected it to be. Wow. I mean, it's, if you don't like that, you don't like electronic <laughs> entertainment. This was so good. I mean, that was as good as anything I have ever seen in this game. So what we're going to do now I is we're going we're, we're to go through. Yes, Blue. I did realize I messed up the poll and I forgot to leave a question at the end. You forgot to add a question at the end. It just said, is Beck likes plants awesome for making this? Oh, yes. yeah. Is it and too late to do yes. it? Is it too late to do it? <laughs> Go in I'm and add it real quick. I don't know if I... I don't know if I can send for. I don't know if I should send forms while they're live. That's I can let get Jules thumbs up for that. Oh, okay, fair enough. All right, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to, we're gonna go through. We're gonna and we're gonna check this out one at a time now. And we've got our Google form pulled up. So what I am trying to do, what I wanted to do here, uh, and I really, really do very much appreciate Blue and Jules stepping up because we talked about this just the other night, Trader, about how I kind of wanted to see how our community stacked up. And Jules and Blue were like, up, oh, got you. Got you, man. We got this. Don't worry about it. We are ready to go with you. So um, they had this Google form cranked out in less than 24 hours. So uh, this is the form. I put the link in chat. I'll do it again. All right. There's the link to the Google, uh, Google form in chat. And we're just going to go through 
and uh, we're going to enter these uh, because they the, the prompts are the same for everybody. All right. So the first one we're going to be looking in the beginning. Our power increased. All right. So let's find that particular statistic and we're just going to go through and put it in. Now, I am going to show you a couple of things about how you enter stuff in this form. This is really important on the syntax, guys. Watch this. All right. So the the information that the game is giving, we've got to actually put it in in actual numbers. So this is 380,720. 380720. No comma, no punctuation. Don't use the K. All right. Nothing like that. Put in the actual number. All right. Battles fought. That's going to be our next statistic. Battles fought was 4,020. So that'd be 4020. Okay. Missions completed. Same thing. We're going to go through here. This has to be done this way, guys. Just throwing it out there. Otherwise, the results are going to get all messed up. Then, since then, we've been a formidable commander. How much has our power increased? Boom. 237 million 467 uh, 460,000. So that's going to be 237 460 000. Okay? That's what it's going to be. I know, Guru, and that's why Jewel, Jules and Blue were going to be going through and they're going to remove the the bad submissions, but I don't want it to be a bad submission, right? I want your submission to count. So please, please do your best to try to follow the instructions. Otherwise, we got to toss your entry, all right? Because it'll mess up all the metrics. Power increased. Uh, battles fought 488,000. That is actually insane to me. I did not realize I have fought so many battles. Like That's nuts, man. 488,000. Uh, That's a lot of triangles. That is a lot of triangles. Missions completed. 3,350. Um, here we go. And again, same thing here. Like, for example, with this one being a percentage, you've overtaken what percentage of commanders? you got to write it as an actual number instead of the percentage. So, for example, now, I did notice, Blue, this question is asked a little bit differently to different commanders. All right? But you'll have to do a little bit of math and kind of just see where you fall in. If you get overtaken? the... Yeah, if you've got the prompt of you've overtaken, then you can use the screen number that it gives you. In my case, it says only 0.3% of commanders have made it to my level. That means that I have overtaken 0.997. All right, 0.997, because only 0.3% of commanders, which also, Trader, kind of makes me feel... I, I can't enter mine because mine is bugged. <laughs> <laughs> Ripper's legacy reel is bug. I feel like they did it on purpose. All right. I uh, oh, I know they did. Yeah. 99.7%. Uh, I am in the 99.7th percentile. Uh, then we come to the major milestones. All right. We're going to take a look at the hostels that we killed. Here are our major milestone segment. Hostels eliminated. 368,000. 140, 368, 140, damage dealt. This is a great number. This one, by the way, is going to be Yay, tricky. Boy. This is going to be tricky. 12.34 trillion. That's a lot of numbers. It's a lot of zeros we got to put in here. So 12, 340, oh, that'd be 12. That's, there's 12 million, billion, trillion. There we go. Did I do that right? One, two, three, four. And then it's going to be. Right there is million. Three zeros makes a billion. Three more makes a trillion. There we go. Max strength destroyed. 3.49 billion. So that's going to be 3490. Oh, 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 that's million. And one more. Two, 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 three. One, two, three. That makes a billion. There we go. Battles won. 44, uh, 444,600. All right, 444,600. Um, most mine resource. This one's a little bit tricky. You got to do it exactly as it is labeled on the screen. So this is going to be three star raw isogen. It has to match exactly what's on the screen. Okay, ships built. We got 332. So we're going to throw that in here. I know the next one, I was faithful to the Federation. My favorite officers, again, same thing. We have to put it in exactly, exactly like it is on the screen. So that's going to be Pike, Moreau, and Chen, okay? So um, 
Here we go. Favorite officers. First one's going to be Pike, Chen, Moreau. All right. M-O-R-E-A-U. Got it. Uh, preferred ship class was the Explorer. Most used ship. Punctuation matters on this. Oh, hang on. Right here. So, V-I apostrophe <coughs> D-A-R. Okay. It matters. The apostrophe matters. I was a base raider. Okay. There we go. And now I'm done. Now, here's what's really, really cool. When I submit this, guys, it's going to take you to blue. I thought it was supposed to take me to the to the, the results screen. Aww. Oh. Wait a second here. Hold Let's on. See. Oh wait. I guess You're I got... all excited for nothing. No, here we go. Okay. I, yeah, I, had to, I had to click a link. I had to click a link. All right, here we go. So, guys, this then is going to show us what everybody has been doing. All right. So uh once you submit this in, then you can come back to this to this link a little bit later if you guys want. So here we go. Um, and this is going to be, these are averages. We've got the min, the max, and then with the averages of the people who have submitted this, uh, this, this thing. Okay. So, uh, look, people are filling it out right now. Blue. I just saw that number change. People are in there doing it right now, which is awesome. Uh, battles fought, missions completed, the average, the min, the max, et cetera, et cetera. Now, this is why I was saying trader, I feel like our community is obviously pretty daggone, pretty daggone cutting edge, okay, truthfully. However, I also wonder, like Ripper said that he suspected a couple things. Like with the officers, we've seen people say that I don't use these officers, but we're seeing that lower decks are counting, and apparently ATAs are also counting. So I would halfway wonder if they're also counting, like, dead accounts, Right, like every account that's in the game right now, because for our community to be in the 90th percentile, that's probably believable. But there's got to be there's got to be some low accounts dragging that number down, right? I mean, I would think. There's no doubt in my mind it includes every single account it's, ever created. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm no, gonna, it won't be I'm ever created. Put this out there won't be ever created because the accounts had to have been active within the last seven days. You know, know what? This that. is not. This is not. This is not um, ever active either, because it had to be twenty five plus. Twenty five plus. Well, I saw like a it, level twenty nine that was a ninety nine percent. Sorry, it, not, not not mid low nineties, but still it, above ninety. It doesn't say that you have overtaken X percentage of the people eligible for, for getting a real. That is true. Go. That is true. So I don't. I I do wonder. What number of bases that they're sampling here? All right. On the other hand, it can't be counting archived or deleted accounts. All right. So maybe these are active Why accounts can't not? because they're not active in the game server profile. Yeah, you overtook. That is not how that works. Oh, I can assure you that that it, it, maybe it's not how it should work. But I have totally one hundred percent gone to Scopely to ask for assistance in recovering an account. And it being permanently gone. <laughs> and that player but was very I, upset. I was talking about archived ones. Archived ones are not. They are still. But they're in there. Well, they're, I don't know. They they're they're backed the, up on a USB uh, thumb drive. The archive insurance. Yeah, they're, they're, they're backed up somewhere, okay? Um, well, so, I don't know. Jules says that they're using roughly 987,000 as the player count. How did you figure that? How did you figure that? Shenanigans? Shenanigans. Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe DJ, you can, actually, DJ, you can figure that out really easily. If you're only ahead, or, or if only 0.3% is ahead of you, then you can go and figure out how many people are ha have more power than you and make that number 0.3% and then figure out what 100% is. Oh, yeah. And it's about yeah, by using the WTF website. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. So absolutely, they, they are including a lot of archived accounts. Yeah. If they're using a million accounts, then <laughs> that's a lot. They're amazing. Yeah, it's, that's well, like a lot. a lot of a lot of dead accounts. Oh, wait. I think the total non-archived account is around six hundred thousand something. I didn't think it was that high. But and I it mean, includes it, like level one and level two. Oh, okay. So fair enough. So, so according to Jules, they're using roughly 
a million accounts uh, is what they've counted here for for the purposes of this percentage. Okay, so You're better than ninety nine percent of them. Yes. Uh, now I am not the only one here. It looks like that's got three star raw isogen. All right, but uh, I clearly see that the person who who got green data hasn't filled out the survey yet. We we got <laughs> we got someone yesterday on the podcast blue, and their most mined resource was green data. That's yeah, I, I saw that. And there's, te- unfortunately, we <clears throat> forgot to add the rule that you can't lie on this. <laughs> Please don't so they lie. Might said, they might have just, they might have just said isogen out of shame. Now look at this. Nice to, would have been nice to quickly hack up like a computer vision thing where you can just post the link to the reel. And let it read through it. We were mm-hmm. actually, uh, Jules was looking at something like that earlier, but that, I, I, I don't know how. I don't know how something like that works. All right. Uh, I don't would, know how something like that works. Would have taken like a day or two. Yeah. Well. I'm only a junior wizard. Yeah. Uh, Pike Moreau clearly leading the pack here when it comes to officers. Um, but see, even right here, we can see it is even case sensitive, right? Like we see Pike and then we see Pike in all caps. Chen, same thing. Um, so, yeah, here's two entries for Moreau. Why is that? E-A-U. Somebody put a space on the end of Moreau or a space before Moreau because here's two separate enti- uh, entries for Moreau. So we've got, you know, there is going to be some cleaning up that we're going to have to do here a little bit. But, yeah, but that can be that can be fixed in the sheet. Yes. Yes, yeah, it can. Uh, I'm, I might be doing it right now. <laughs> we'll, we'll be, the attendant. Yeah, like you here's... Ju- you just have to, you Vidar, just have to Vidar, Vidar. normalize those names and merge them. It shouldn't be too difficult. Exactly. Like here's uh, Vidar. There's three entries for Vidar on the ship type. So yeah, like I said, we're bringing in the data, but we are going to have a little bit of cleanup to do. So uh, we will get some final results to you guys within, uh, within, I don't know, we'll leave this thing up for a few days, let you guys play around and have fun with it. I'd like to see a couple thousand entries on this thing to really see what our, what our community is looking like. You know, I think that would be really, really very, very cool just to see, you know, what our community looks like on this breakdown. So again, thanks to Jules, and Blue for their incredible work, as always, the crazy uh, database guys uh, really, really coming through and and doing some amazing work for us here uh, with our metrics in the community. Now, um, Trader, I know that a lot of people are probably very, very excited for this. Ladies and gentlemen, Wardon has sent me his reel, and according to him, he has not... Uh, he has not shown this to anybody yet. All right. So we're going to see what it looks like. Apparently nobody has seen it yet. Now I was going to do a toy mice redemption, uh, a, a toy mice cl- uh, bet on what his uh, category was going to be. His Admiral IJ got very, very fussy the other day because he was categorized as an expert miner. All right. <laughs> I'm very, very curious to see how this goes for Wardod, uh, if he ends up being an expert miner. I bet, if I'm a betting man, I bet Wardod is probably a base raider as well. He's got to right. be a base raider. My money's on base rating. I, I would say so. But see, here's the problem. I can't do another bet because we've already got the bet up for, for hostiles killed. So I can't do two of them at the exact same time. All right. So uh, Jace thinks that Wardod's going to be researcher? No. No. It's too bad stream sniper is not an option. <laughs> That's funny. All right, guys. Do you guys want to see Wardod's legacy reel? I've got it. And we will pot it up here and get it going. Ladies and gentlemen, Wardod's legacy reel. I'm going to give this to you guys now. Without further ado, I'm so excited to see this trader. Like you don't even know. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Wardod's legacy reel. Here we go. I think he got me there. I think he beat me on that one too. 
you point seven seven of those. Holy! Yeah, he beat me on that one. He's beat me on that one. I think he beat me on that one too. <laughs> oh god, he's so much better than I am. Wow! Holy cow, Wardot! good so flipping good i could watch this a dozen times i really could uh now i <laughs> victor says only 90 percent of his power destroyed was against your base uh yeah tony rome probably absolutely true now i am seeing in the chat uh and we can back this thing up here a little bit blue i'm seeing in the chat that i actually won on the hostiles killed i don't think that i did though let's let's go here and find this this right right here by the way is an incredibly impressive number. 99.97th percentile, Trader. That's insane. Wow. That, That's 10 times better than yours. Oh, God. That is crazy right there, Wardod. The elite of the elite, man. That is, uh, that's crazy. Let's see if we can find, okay, right here. Hostels, 400. Oh, I just missed it. 431,000. Now, did anybody write down what mine was? Can I see my own results in that form? Or, Blue, can you can you tell me what my results were by looking at the form data? For, for some I reason, can. I'm remembering something 380 something. I think it, yeah, not. I think it was only 300 and some thousand. I don't think, I don't think I, uh. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Y you were at three, let's see. Uh, 368.14. Soonergrad says I was at 448,000. Is that true? Uh, 400. Oh, that's. Oh, sorry. That was. Uh, are you doing hostiles destroyed or battles fought? Hostiles eliminated. Hostiles destroyed was 368. Battles okay. fought was 488. All right. So I. So he beat me on hostiles. Battles fought. Battles won is 444,000. Yeah, but yeah. The, the, I mean, the prediction was for killed. It was for hostiles. hostiles killed. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. So, uh, so here we go. Hostiles killed. Uh, he's got a lot of damage dealt, like twenty-seven trillion damage dealt. Now, I'm pretty sure my max destroyed is exactly the same as his. I am ninety. Wasn't it four and a half billion? No, mine was three and a half billion, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. <sighs> uh, for power destroyed. Man. Dang. He beat me in every category. <laughs> Shocking. All right. I'll pay off the toy mice. Uh, nobody's going to win anything. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Nobody's going to win nothing. All right. Because uh, everybody picked Wardod. All right. So there we go. Wardod was the winner. Let's take a quick peek at what the prediction looked like. Trader. Uh, on the summary, I mean, but Voodoo, but Voodoo you're the Doctor still raider, won. So, huh? You're the better base raider. So, no, I'm not. <laughs> he's rated. He's outrated me there too. Voodoo Doctor picked up thirty-two thousand toy mice for Botsky with eight thousand, and Shiny with uh, sixty-five hundred toy mice. You guys are the big winners today. Oh, Canine Tooth, ye of little faith, man. That was that was 
irresponsible gambling of the toy mice right there. <laughs> now, this one is really cool. Like I said, I could watch several of these. I could watch several of these. Uh, Cruzito, what's up, man? Thank you for your 18-month resub. Jerry D, thanks for the six-month resub. Appreciate that very much. Uh, Trader, we have... I don't have Bubba's. I'm not sure. Wait, do I? He posted uh, it yeah, in the, look in the contributors yep, chat. Look in our, <laughs> yep. and, and DJ, you can I take comfort girl. that uh, if you were stuck with your most used ship, I think you'd rather be stuck with your Vidar than stuck with the ISS, ISS Jelly. Fish. I know. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I do have Bubba's. Do you guys want to watch Bubba's Legacy Reel? I also have Canine Tooths, uh, which I suspect... I'm curious to see who's going to be uh, stronger out of Canine and Bubba uh, with their statistics because both of them are like super whales. And rumor has it that Canine's tooth most popular ship was actually the Daredex, which I don't understand how that's even possible given how much time he's had the Daredex, right? Like, that's crazy. So, yeah, um, Trader's not going to have one, unfortunately, Bel Air. Trader hasn't logged in. Trader, you don't have one, do you? Do you have one? I haven't even looked, so yeah. I'm guessing no. I'm, I'm going to... Well, well have, you, have you at least logged if in you've once logged in, in the past 30 days? Seven. It's seven. I know the website... DJ, go away. I know the website says 30. I'm telling you it's wrong. It's seven. I, I, I wasn't asking because of that. I'm just asking just in general. Oh. <laughs> yes, in the last 30 days, yes. I've what about the last in. seven days? No, absolutely not. We'll go check just to be safe. Maybe right here we <laughs> just can just to be safe. Yeah, we can okay, prove I'm Ripper sorry. or me right right here. All right. No, 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 DJ. Logged in is not necessarily enough. Well, we'll see. We'll see if Trader gets I've, one. I've been told. Well, she does meet the she does meet the qualification for twenty five plus. So there's that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, they, they, they. Apparently, someone looked into into why I didn't get one, and I got one. But mine is Fuba. <laughs> Here's the thing: like, I quit many months ago, right? Yeah. So my 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 player power is way less than two hundred million. The okay. real says I have gained three hundred and thirty four million, and I beat ninety nine point nine zero percent of all commanders. Ninety nine point nine zero. Wait, ninety nine point nine zero. Yeah. Well, again, oh, let's see. Yeah. if you're doing, but if you're parody. basing it on a million bases, that Copy. means that you're still better than 10,000 players. That's probably right. I, my, my player power is less than 200 million. I should be below you. Yeah, if all your ships are dead or you got miners in base, maybe. Maybe this <laughs> is going oh, through and counting. Maybe this is going through and counting up all your ships. Maybe it's not the okay, same power me. that we see in the game. I think for yours lined ship? up pretty well. You had like, what, 237 in the real? What, what do you have in game? I don't know. Uh, let's see. All right. 230. So, yeah, it's it's pretty close. And I've got miners in right now. Really and mine, is, to mine, is, mine is showing basically that. double what I what my play up is. Um, in the yeah, yours is FUBAR. So that's a bit. Trader, do you have Where the link? The... No. Okay, no, here. I'm gonna send. I'm going to send you the link. And then uh, you'll need to get your player ID out of the game. Copy. copy I already have that. Okay. I, just I wouldn't. To... I also wouldn't rule out that I have, through a lot of shenanigans, actually kind of semi broke my account. <laughs> that wouldn't shock me. In the he, he that is, is probably exactly every, how that works. Every every single month, arc launch, all my battle logs are wiped without fail. Every yeah. single month. Yeah, but that's because you broke your account. Yeah, my account, my account is very likely very beyond uh, broken. Is toxic or quarantine? One, actually. Do what, Trader? You did get one? Yeah. Oh, 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 send me the link. Send me the link. We're going to watch yours first. We're going to watch yours first. All right, hold on. And and who's really fast with the numbers? I would like like somebody to to enter this in in real time so that we can kind of side-by-side compare this stuff uh, at the end of these three. We're going to do Bubba's. We'll do Traders. We'll do there. Canine Tooths. Uh, well, let's have see people some people in chat say the numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Can you guys do that? And then, and then we'll no, get I'm curious what I am. I haven't actually watched this. I so. know. I, so I figured I wasn't going to have one. Let's watch it together. Ladies and gentlemen, traders legacy reel. Let's see what she's yeah, been up be to the right one here. There we go. Second one. Wait, what? 
Oh no! Uh, so is it working? Yeah. It is. Never mind. Whatever. <laughs> All right, let's see what traders got. You guys throw these numbers up in chat, and let's put them together. Oh, Trader didn't play very much in the beginning. Trader, were you a slow starter in the game? Were you a whale from the beginning, or did you... you? No. Yeah. I became a whale during the pandemic shutdown. <laughs> I gotcha. Yeah, look at that. Who wants to bet what Trader's play style is going to be? Dang. That's huge right there. 99.96%. Trader, 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 what? trader. What? How is it that I have more power destroyed than you? The lover you of PvP. There are there are those who grind and those who don't. <laughs> no, this is this is power destroyed. Isn't that that no, doesn't I'm like include on the trader side? Like I'm a low grinder. But this is not PVE. This is PVP statistic. Yeah, but I haven't played in a year. You have a you have a year more than me to be playing. Yeah, but I don't get to kill big to, ships. Like, what's max strength destroyed? Uh, isn't that just power destroyed? Rip, max That's strength not destroyed. My PD number. I mean, mine was three and a half billion. Let's see what mine was. Let's see what mine looks like in the game. Max strength destroyed. I think that's. I don't know what that is. Is that a the maybe? Ship maybe it is. Maybe it is PVE included. Because no, yeah, my, no, no, mine's, no, no, mine's no. off. If you include if you include PVE, you would be it'd be way higher. Way of way beyond yeah. any of yeah, those I numbers. Don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Yeah, no. I have. Mine was three point one billion max strength destroyed, and my PD is one billion. So. No, it can't be a singular. Roselia says max strength destroyed, like the highest hostile you've ever killed, but that can't be it. She's got a Dideradex. I haven't killed a bigger hostile than she has. So maybe, like, is what, like, what, I don't know what PD, is it like PD with, with research applied? I don't know. Actually, a lot of people. Way the, beyond those numbers. No, 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 no. A lot of people in the chat saying it is the largest hostile, but 2.5 billion is not a very big hostile. C crazy enough. Yeah, I have killed, I have killed the level 60 Jem'Hadar Armadas. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah, interesting. I've done, yeah, I don't know. I know. No. They came out after I left. For us to the end, anyway. Oh, look at her, a little territory miner. I bet that credit is going to be Look at that. Pike, Kumok, and Crass. Nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. for the auger! Yeah, for the auger! Mine was also auger, actually. Trader also with the base rating. So oh. there you go. That was Trader's. I was my base cracker, the base cracker in my alliance. I hate raiding, but I'd, I'd crack the bases. Shiny says it could also include incursion power destroyed, which actually very well could make sense because those things we do know do not reflect in your own stats on your server. So that that could be. That's very possible. Yeah, or, Ooh, but, I have yeah, played the use trials. That's possible. Uh, let's see. All right. So that was traders. I've got Bubba's. I love, my, I love my auger. Yes. I love my pylum more, but I loved my auger. The auger was nice. I, I, that was also my most used ship. Dude, I used the auger a lot. I was actually surprised that the Vidar was my most used ship because I relied on my auger for a very, very long time. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Potts and Arian. 
uh, both got, I'm going to show you this, this up on the screen real quick. Putz and Arium both got PvP fighters, which I was very impressed with, especially Arian, who just loves everything and, and is just a gentle butterfly. She clearly is a menace in this game. All right. Uh, <laughs> you don't know yeah. her very well, if that's what you think. Yeah, I know. She's clearly a menace. Uh, let's see. What else did we have? Captain Mark, uh, big on the research we had there. Uh, let's see. And then we had Bubba's. All right. I got Bubba's Legacy Reel. We'll pull this one up. Yo, what's up, Theo? Thank you for your 13-month resub. Just a couple of more we're going to watch real quick. And uh, and then we'll move on to something else. But I, I am loving these. Ladies and gentlemen. Any polls? Uh Polls for what? What do you want to do? I bet. I don't know. On what? <laughs> so what's the, uh, what's going to say? I don't, I mean, I don't, we already know. We, we talked about it the other day on the, on the show about some, right. of, some of his stuff. All right. Uh, I am curious as to whether or not Bubba's is going to be bigger or canine tooth is going to be bigger. All right. <laughs> you know, that's what she said. Uh, anyway, uh, here's Bubba Joe's legacy reel, everybody. <laughs> Oh, terrible. Now, look at that. Bubba wailed out from the very beginning. He had a million power gained in the beginning. Wow. Yeah. Bubba, Bubba was a whale at the start. Most missions I've seen done. That's the highest percentile I've seen yet. 99.98%. Okay, wait a second. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. How? No, it can't be a singular hostile, guys. Bubba's power destroyed is 150 billion. All right, there's yeah. no li, traders was what three billion? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but there's some new hostile now. That's probably more. Q's trials. Yeah, Trader hasn't killed yet. Yeah, I think it's probably Q's trials. Oh, so so this is the but largest the, hostile that you've hit then, or probably an armada. Because I didn't, I haven't done any of Q's trials. Well, then there you go. So it is the largest hostile that you've hit. 150 yeah. billion power. Damn. I mean. what? I don't know what the hostiles are like at like Max Voyager space or whatever. Good night in heaven. Woo! That's a big it right there. That's impressively large. I am also very, very proud of myself that Bubba has only outbuilt me. By about 50 ships. All right. <laughs> now, I mean, listen, that sounds like a lot, but it's really not. Given the fact that he's, it, you know, he talks about scrapping all the time and he's a 60. Wow. Uh, big and Thank right you, there. Thad. That's impressively large. <laughs> I know. I did that live. Didn't it sound just like the sound alert? <laughs> just like when Ripper does his yay bugs live and we can never tell the difference. Yeah. I, I was just doing so that. confusing. I know. <laughs> yay bugs. Yay, yay bugs. Oh, now, best. DJs, with Mwah, the power destroyed, kisses. why do we think that that's not the same power destroyed as the stat that's available in game to look at? Because Be it is not. Because it's not. It's not matching anybody's. Mine doesn't match. Mine we're off by about a factor of three. Mine, yeah, really? mine's off by over a billion. So, of course it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, oh god, it makes me crack up. Oh, did I expect any different? No, not really. All right. <laughs> All right. There we go. There's Bubba Joe's last one that we're gonna watch. Uh, is from probably one of the largest players that I am aware of. It, it, Canine Tooth, you're probably one of the biggest players that we've got in our community, right? Like you, you've you're you're up there. All right, IJ, IJ, you you could rival him, I think, but I'm not sure. All right, oh, Lord Scarin says I'm a minor league player. Show mine. Uh, I know the video of the salad and mining. I know it is actually very funny. I noticed that it's mining from the deflector dish too, by the way, if you, if you haven't noticed, <laughs> yeah, the last graphic is different with your play style. Let's go back and take a look at this final graphic where Bubba Joe is mining right there with the saladins. Actually, I guess it's not the deflector dish. What is that? What is that right there? That's the deflector dish. So what's this right here? What the heck? Little it's apple not cannon. What what is that? All right, come on. What a, what the heck is that thing? That must be the mining laser. All right, no no no. The deflector dish is down here on the on the nacelle. All right, yeah, obviously it's it must be the mining laser up here. That's the go home cannon. Got it. <laughs> That's the go home cannon right there. All right, uh, let's pull up uh, canine tooths and let's see what his looks like. Here's canine tooth. And his legacy reel, this, this might be the last one that we watch unless you guys want to keep doing this. This, by the way, is fascinating to me, though, Trader. I love, I love, you know, Griffin, you said it great on the show the other day. Like, the amount of conversation that this is spurring is fascinating. Like, it's these. It's taken off like a wildfire in my server. It yeah. is fascinating. All right. I just, I love it, man. I love it. All right. Canine Twos, let's take a look at yours. Now look at that. He didn't do any missions when he started. He did nothing at the beginning of this game. All right. Uh, he's tied with Bubba Joe. He's tied with Bubba Joe. Oh, Lord, K92. <laughs> Look at that. How is that even a thing? The most used ship is a Dideridex. I thought he was making it up. I thought he was making it up. All right. Yeah, no. Okay, what is use? What what is use? Do you I think it know. do you think it's time even just being equipped, like maybe spent in dock or something like that? I, I doubt it because of the ISS jellyfish is probably someone grinding up their XP for scrapping it. No, Dave, Bubba Joe was Wardod's 90. I don't think Wardod's out there hitting your base with the jellyfish. No, Bubba Joe, Dave, was also 99.98%. Yeah, he was. The, so they're tied. Bubba Joe was in the top 0.03%. So you could be time out of dock. I don't know, man. But I'll tell you. Maybe it's a whale thing. Ripper, it's just, did you just, you just make that up or is that yours? Ships. Wait. That is not mine. No, no. <laughs> Whose is this? <laughs> the, the strongest player in the game. Neo. 
Is this Neo's right no, here? Neo, Neo, no, no, Neo is not that close. It would to probably be dog. whoever's in the top slot. Who is it? Who's the number one player now? Big dog. Big dog. Wow. So the that's an num- impressive screenshot right there. Yeah, that's uh, that's the number one spot. All right. Uh, yeah. Woo. One hundred percent. Dang on. Do you, do you want to know how much power they gain in the beginning? Do you have his stats? I want to see that whole video. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, though, yeah, listen. There's Big Dog's drill. Yeah. Uh, K9 Tooth, like, I've ground more hostels than he has. I've played in more battles than he has. It's it's kind of crazy, though. This, this does kind of indicate, like, how much larger players actually hate grind, right? We hate grind. So, yeah, that's actually totally consistent. Uh, let's come back and finish... Uh, let's finish this one real quick. This is the, the rest of canines here. Good officers. You and your jellyfish. Oh, this is ward odds again. What the hell? Wait, what happened? <laughs> I've got so many tabs open, guys. I'm so sorry. I've got a gazillion tabs open Sounds here. Looks a lot like ward odds. Uh, let's see. Oh, gosh. I mean, I've got so many tabs open right here. Was this it? Is this it? Here, let's see what this one is. Nope, that one's mine. All right, I'm going to have to start closing some windows. <laughs> just leave it at that window. I'm just going to have to start closing still. some windows here. Uh, okay, that was... All right, so this one, this was right... Yeah, here it is. The Daredex. Okay, here's K-Dines. We'll finish it up. So he got avid researcher. Hey, Wham. Wham, if if you want, I don't necessarily want to put you on the spot, but I really want to see yours. Wham is one of the biggest grinders that I think still exists in the game. All right. Um, like, it, during that one huge grinding event here a couple of years ago you were beat out only by ska and and ska's been out of the game for close to a year now i'd be willing to bet that oh yeah wham has 1.16 million uh battles that's (laughs) that is more than double anybody else we've seen so far um like did uh did wham's reel just say Menace. <laughs> Wham, what was your play style? Oh, I know. Graduated the, the the soundtrack for the reels. It's so good. So good. Chris, thank you for your hydrate. I'll do that now. I suspect that the designing team behind this whole wow, production is the right same there. crew. That's impressively large. Is the same crew that does the um the commercials for this game that we all complain about not being actual game footage. It looks exactly the same. It's very impressive. It is, except this crazy enough looks like better. <laughs> this is better animation for this style of a video than it is for an advertisement. You know what I'm saying? Like this one is appropriate here. I, I think, you know, it's not trying to represent gameplay. It's an actual action kind of suspenseful kind of video so i, I kind of dig it uh Absolutely. honor what's honor uh what's so up honor heard. above all what are you guys looking at this is the new legacy reel and uh if you are not familiar with the legacy reel uh i am going to um i j i need you to send me the link i can't watch it from inside discord uh send me send me your link i've got whams here too if you guys want to take a look at it um so I'll put the link in chat again. All you got to do is go to this particular website, put in your player ID. Yeah, I need to turn the cat back on. It's been longer than 10 minutes. 
You guys messing me up here. So you're distracting me and stuff. All right, here. Let me uh, let me turn that off. Uh, and I will uh, while we're watching. Link is Wamps, in the chat, DJ. Huh? Oh, okay, great. The link put, is in the chat. There you go. Griffin put the link in the chat. Honor, go and click on that link uh, from Griffin. Put in your player ID, and you will get your five-year anniversary video. All right? You're going to get that. Querity, uh, really, I, I appreciate the, the offer, man. I don't want to watch these all night, but I do want to see uh, Whams real quick. And uh, I am seeing some calls from certain Server 15 players to take a look at my Admirals, JBs. <laughs> but I don't know if he's actually watching right now. But I do want to watch Whams, uh, and then I, I want to move on to something else. Uh, here, let me close this out so I don't uh, keep messing up. But don't if I was keep a, messing uh, smart, up Windows. A smart, marketing, a smart marketing firm, I would use some of those animations and some of my TV spots and other other ads because it's just free animation to reuse and recycle. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. All right, here's Whams real quick. Uh, we'll take a look at this. And then, so honor above all, once you put your player ID in that, it'll generate this video for you. And then you can share it with your team or put it in Discord. You can download the video. I actually downloaded mine. Um, I downloaded mine, so I've actually got the MP4 saved because I didn't want anything bad to happen to it. So, <laughs> because I really, really like it. Forgotten sec. Yo, is Dekix in here? Dekix, are you awake? As far as we are aware, Blue, Dekix is still the Galaxy's uh, highest ops ranked free to play. Uh, he is known as a massive grinder, and the people are calling to see his legacy reel. So Dekix, that would be a wonderful video to watch. Yes. That would be a really good one. Dekix, if you're in here, uh, I would like to I would like to grab your legacy reel. In the meantime, here is Whams, and we'll get ready to, to move on to something else because I want to do some other stuff tonight. Uh, here's Whams. Let's take a look at his grinding one and uh, and see how this uh, see how this looks. Six million battles. That is a heck of a lot of grinding, dude. Dang. Woo! God. Ninety-nine point nine percent. Wow! Look at that. Dang. Dang real. All hail whale. Oh, hell wham. Oh, <laughs> I was guessing. Wham and the PvP fighter, look at him. Now, I want to point this out. If he won PvP fighter, if he won PvP fighter, but also had almost a million hostiles destroyed, how many players has he killed? <laughs> I mean, he's got almost a million hostiles killed, and he's still got PvP uh, fighter. How many players yeah, has 1. he killed? One million battles won or 1.1 million. That's uh, what? A, how many thousand? <laughs> that's thousands of players. That's 200,000 players. There you go. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> 200,000 players. Oh, wham, you big bully. Let's see. How many? That's someone who gets full advantage of this game. They get players? maximum enjoyment. Look at that. I've only got 75,000. Yeah, wham, maximum enjoyment, man. 200,000 players killed and a million hostiles destroyed. And Rubotsky says 50,000 of those are DJs. Probably. Probably more. <laughs> I am so positive. I'm full of positive energy. I'm telling you, man. These legacy reels, these, this is so cool. This is the coolest thing, man. DJs, before you move on, because they are running this contest through November the 3rd, I don't know that anybody who knows that there is a contest going for participation, and they are giving away some pretty cool prizes Absolutely. for sharing out this reel. Do you want to talk about that for a second? The link's in the chat if you want to pull up what you can win. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Let me pull up this website. So on the Star Trek Fleet Command website, they're asking you guys to share your anniversary reel out. Okay, so first it's got the link, and this is on the STFC website. So you can go and you can find the link there. Second, uh, share it uh, within the community on social channels and this stuff on Twitter, Facebook, any of these. Use the hashtag STFC Legacy. All right. You can also go on over to the Discord and share. Uh, they've got a, a new channel right above the content creators channel called Share Your Legacy. You can put it in there. And uh, once you've done that, then you're entered into the contest. Okay. And they're giving away a bunch of swag, hoodies, clothes. Uh, the Remember the 3D printed enterprises Echo was talking about? They're giving those away for this. Um, the, the VIP box and some pins and stickers and things like that. So some really cool stuff. And the grand prize winner will actually get to design an in-game avatar with the STFC art team. All right. You would actually United get to... United States residents only. Um... Wait a second. What? That's the easiest one to do. Why did it, why do you have to be a US a US player only to design an avatar? Because that, the, the, the location has nothing to do with international laws oh, regarding yeah. giveaways and, and these yeah. compensation as, Yeah, it's the legal stuff. Legal legal stuff. Legal mumbo jumbo. All right. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> but there there you go. Uh, for any other prize, players can be located in any area where a contest like this is allowed. I'm pretty sure that the legal verbiage on that trader is uh, except where prohibited by law. All right. Uh, instead, instead, Scopely is going to dumb it down. You can win if you're located in an area where this is allowed. <laughs> it's very 2023. <laughs> Oh, God, that's so funny. I have never, Trader, have you ever heard legal terminology worded like that? <laughs> Wherever a contest like this one is uh, is permissible. It, it's usually only when it's somebody who doesn't know what they're doing right now. <laughs> Echo! Echo! I would hope that a multi a multinational corporation would hire an actual lawyer, but you never know. Yeah, you never know. Uh, guys, real quick before we move on, Jules Verne has been tabulating the results as we've been going here. First of all, that's some them some mighty quick fingers there, buddy. Nice job. Uh, guys, here you go. You can see the side by side on the legacy reels that we watched here tonight. Trader Bubba K9, Tooth, uh, myself, and Wham. All right, in Hostels Destroyed, I did more than Bubba Joe. I came in second place in Hostels Killed. First of that all, that doesn't surprise me. I hate grinding. He doesn't. He doesn't. Enjoy, he doesn't enjoy grinding. I know. Either. I I hate grinding, but it's crazy that I. But see, this is the this is proof positive right here that he is scrapping ships for faction hunts and i i'm still having oh, to i'm still having to kill that's, ships a little bit what you gotta do uh yeah that's i know what you gotta do so max strength destroyed yeah that is definitely because look uh bubba joe and canine tooth have the practically the same number and they both finished q's trials that's got to be it that's that's got to be it right there um let's see the, wait a second wait 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 wait, wait 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 wham how is your max strength destroyed triple K9 and Bubba Joe's yours is 405 billion what the hell hostel did you hit that's that's 
three times as big as what Canine Tooth can kill. What is that? Maybe there's mm. quantity involved. <laughs> he, he, yeah, maybe, maybe, he hit maybe Scopely headquarters. That's right there. The That's impressively killed. large. Jules says, I was going fast. I may have typoed this thing. All right, maybe. Possible. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I like to say the person who said, like, yeah, I think, I think, I think it actually said, I think it was actually 40 billion, not 400. Because uh, 400 okay. doesn't exist as far as I know. Okay. All right. Uh, typo. Oh, we got to rewind it. Oh, God. <laughs> this has turned to, I'm glad you guys are having fun honest to god but this has turned into something longer than Actually, what I wanted but I mean if you guys are loving it that, that's fine I don't I don't care a bit yeah please be kind um, rewind uh, apparently 156 contest. billion exists I don't know what hostile that would be though here we go alright we should be right in here somewhere uh, that's damage dealt yeah, okay, 4.05 billion. There we go. All right, okay, fine, fine, fine. 4.05 billion. Um, so I'm in last place there. Oh, nope, I'm, I'm ahead of Trader. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Yeah, Trader left the game a year ago, so good on me. Uh, let's see, power increased in the early days. Now, you know, Bubba has come in and told us that he was not a whale when he started this game. He wasn't bull. Look, bull. Look at bull. <laughs> <laughs> he had a Funny. million, a million yeah. power. Yeah, and, and the current, the current strongest player had six. Six million. Yeah. Oh, dang. in the beginning. So you know, one million <laughs> seems far from being a whale at that point. Wait, tough cow. You have more. Than a million hostiles killed? You have more than a it. million hostiles killed? Yeah. There's, uh, there's a couple of players that have... Uh, Dang, very, Tough uh, Cow. That's insane, man. That's impressive. It's impressively large. Or, or illegal. Shh. <laughs> 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 All right, let's see. Uh, There's no in between. Crazy enough, look at the power increase with Wham at the beginning, Canine Tooth at the beginning. Like none of you guys started out like super hot out of the gate. All right, you guys didn't start super hot out of the gate, um, but then then came in real real big. Then Trader Bubba Joe Canine Tooth, big 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 power uh, increase since then. Uh, I came in dead last there. Battles fought. Battles fought. So 488,000. I've killed 368,000. That leaves me, yeah, that leaves me 70, okay, right at what my player card said, 75,000, uh, which means I've got 5,000 failures. All right, uh, 5,000 failures, either in players or PVE. So 75,000 players, but I've got a lot of, I got a lot of battles fought too. Aside from wham, I'm, a, I'm ahead of, Wow. I'm more addicted than I thought. <clears throat> I yep. almost had the highest number of missions. Wham's only beat me by a hundred, not even a hundred. You've beat me by 10 missions. You've beat me by 10 missions. 10. That is crazy. <laughs> um, damage dealt very weak in that category for some reason. Um, Battles won. I'm winning against everybody except for Wham. Ships built. I did all right in that category. No, not really. Wham beat me. Trader beat me. Bubba beat me. So, yeah, not really good there. And I and I am wildly impressed, Canine Tooth, that your most used ship is at a Daredex. Like, that's, that's crazy to me, man. That is just the fun, nuts. The, the, fun, the funny thing is, so I, I looked through a couple of the highest players. They all have like G5 Rare Plus as their most used chip. Huh. That's interesting. It, But, I mean, here's the thing. Most used would seem to indicate number of battles, right? Number of battles that it was used in or something like that. So it is kind of interesting to note that 
that K9, for example, has had his Dideridex longer than any other ship, including an Augur or a Vidar or Doesn't a have Sally. To be longer. Maybe it's he's used it in it's, more battles. Maybe it's compounded. Is that the metric they the use? E I don't know. E. Well, I don't know either. I don't know either. Yeah, maybe it's in time repaired. I don't know. Voodoo Doctor says mine was the Kuv. So maybe. Yeah, that's, I mean, if you had the Dideridex, you're probably using it for PvE and PvP. You're using it all Using the time. it for everything. And yeah, why wouldn't you? Because the Dideridex is just with the boost. Vidar, right? Uh, beast mode. K92. Wait, do you have multiple? Do you have multiple triple Ds? <laughs> do you have two? Do you have a pair of triple Ds? K92. That is so wrong. The way you're <laughs> that saying sounds it. like a personal question. <laughs> I'm just curious if you've got if you've got two, man. I was just I was just I curious. Just don't want to answer. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, <laughs> no, he does have two. You do have two. Well, clearly. Maybe that's contributing. So then it's got to be use. Either time use or battles. Battle use. It's got to be something like that. All right. There you go. The Legacy Reel has been a ton of fun. It's been an absolute ton of fun. I am so, so, so proud of Beck and her team that put this thing together. I have had so much fun looking at this. And uh, the fact that we've been, Trader, watching this for 90 minutes. I mean, dude, that's the length of a feature film. Okay, <laughs> that is the length of a feature film movie. And we've been watching the same three minute clip over and over and over and over and over again. All right. <laughs> it so, just goes to show how engaging these stats are and how much we care. We do. Yeah, We're more nerds, more man. Artistic content. We are nerds. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. stats. Whew, numbers, math, stats. I was uh, I was hanging out in another in another um uh, uh, Twitch chat tonight before this stream started Griffin. And I was like, all right, I got to go. We got super nerdy stuff to do tonight. Because uh, I knew <laughs> that we were going to be doing this kind of math. I was like, all right, I got to go be a nerd for a little while. Because uh, <laughs> I knew that we were going to do that. Where's the link to input your results? Uh, we will. Let me see if I can grab that real quick. Or maybe Griffin can grab it faster. Um, here it is. Got it. Okay. Here it is coming into the chat. There is the Google link. Up, oh, Jules. I beat you, Jules. <laughs> All right. There you go. Uh, that is the Google Forms link. Thank you, Griffin, for the pin. That will allow you to submit your entries so that you can uh, put those in. And we'll take a look at the final results here in maybe about a week or so. Just kind of see how everybody is stacking up. Uh, very, very cool. Very, very cool work put in by Scopely. Very, very cool work put in by Jules and Blue, and I uh, am really actually so very pleased that we're actually having a lot of fun with this. Uh, Zandy <laughs> says, can you confirm that there was no territory capture battle pass event today? Uh, yeah. Wait. I thought today was... Yeah, no, it's here. Remember, it started late. It started late. Remember, this is because of the APAC and EU delay. So it started at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Yes, guys, there was none earlier today because it didn't start until one hour and 50 minutes ago. This event is not on normal reset because of the territory capture schedule for APAC and EU servers. So this event launched at 9 p.m. Dark Tree, I know. What I'm telling you is it launched an hour and 50 minutes ago, buddy. <laughs> there was none earlier today. All right. Guys, there's no territory on Tuesdays in the United States. <laughs> but it there's is... There's also none in EU. Nobody cares however, about that. How, however... No, it's Wednesday in the EU right now. It's Wednesday yes. on the APAC servers right now. So they have a Wednesday schedule. That's why the event started yeah. early. So no, Savage Darkness, it's not APAC only. APAC... Actually... APAC and EU are affected, but they launched the event globally. So U.S. servers have the event up, but it only launched one hour and 52 minutes ago from this moment live. It launched at 9 p.m. Eastern time. 9 p.m. Eastern yep. time. 6 p.m. Pacific. 
So yeah, it, there There's was not a, one earlier new today. Territory captures happening in a couple of hours. Yeah, as a matter of fact, APAC, if I'm not mistaken, they're already starting. I think APAC's. Yeah, no, they should have already. Had yeah, some. they've already had a couple. Or like one at least. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm a junior says, so there's no territory on Tuesday in the APAC servers. Yes, but I would use Tuesday in my time and then convert the time. Tuesday, my time is Wednesday, their time, and they do have takeovers on their Wednesday, our Tuesday. Woof. <laughs> Woo. Shaitan says, why couldn't they just make it a Tuesday reset to Tuesday reset? They did. They did in week one, Shaitan, but it didn't. They, that's what the problem was. Actually, no, that's not what they did in week one. In week one, they started at Wednesday at noon, and APAC and EU lost out on a day. That's what happened. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now why they didn't launch it at event reset today, I'm not entirely sure. But I, I don't actually care. What I do care about is the fact that they did get it up in time for the start of APAC and EU territory uh, captures. So... Nobody is missing any time. So that's fine. Listen, if they launch it at 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 5 p.m., I don't care. As long as it is there for the duration of the weekly schedule, and it is. So that's actually positive uh, change and positive reiteration from this month's Arc Runner. I appreciated that, as did all of the APAC and EU players. All right. Wow. Which yeah. is crazy. All right. Usually it doesn't work out that way quite so quickly or effectively, but they did. I know, Hammer. Yes, I'm teaching people about time zones and geography. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, guys, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open up the floor for questions uh, for maybe five or ten minutes, whatever I can answer for you guys real quick, because Trader and I are going to dive into – star trek infinite a little bit more tonight and mm. um yes because i've spent some time off screen playing through a campaign i do well, actually you now i have now i do have some questions i'm sure that you guys can help me out with a couple of things before we play a multiplayer i've got to get into my single player campaign and ask a couple of questions because i'm having a couple of problems that you guys could probably help me with but i will have you know I played 20 hours on the weekend. You played 20? I, I haven't played that much. I've got like seven or eight hours in. I don't have 20 in yet. Uh, hey, here's a great question. Uh, Benny Hill says, can we talk about base defense with the new primes? Uh, yes. Benny, were you the one that sent me a battle log? Because we'll pull that up. Was that you? Somebody sent me a battle log on this today. And crap, I don't remember who did it. Hang on. I'm looking. I'm looking for it. Hey, DJs, I got to head out for the night. Yay, man. Hey, see you, buddy. Appreciate you. Hey, good night, folks. Here it is. Voodoo Doctor sent it to me. Voodoo Doctor sent it to me. So I've got... Let me save this. And we're going to load it up on Spock's Club. There we go. Okay, let me, uh, let me pull up Spock's Club, and we're going to take a look at this thing. Because I have a feeling I know how this thing is working. Ripper does too. So let's just see how potent this thing is. All right, here's Spock's Club. Let's upload our battle log. Thank you, Voodoo Doctor, by the way, for sending the battle log to us. Why is that? Oh, there we go. All right, let's take a look at Voodoo Doctor's Prime Test. So this is going to be uh, Voodoo Prime Base Attack Log. All right, let's take a look here and see what we can find. Battle summary. All right, so there's Rom. So he triggered. That's great. Voodoo Doctor went at it. These don't look like they're parsing right. These don't look like they're parsing right, but all right. So, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. So you're saying Rex, Rex was the attacker? No. Rex was the defender and Voodoo Doctor was the attacker. 
So, oh, well, yeah, okay, this makes sense. There's no damage. Wait a second. Wait a second. What am I? What? what? So. All right. This is confusing me a little bit. Go to damage done. Okay. Let's take a look here. Total damage. Voodoo Doctor went against him with a Crozier. So the base threw no crits, which is fine. Yeah, the delay firing primes are out, Aaron. Yay! Dark Tree says, any truth to a second scrap option coming to the game? Not that I'm aware of yet. I, I'm, I don't know of anything just yet. I've been asking for it for a really long time, though. Ooh, sorry. Sergeant Kern says, any news on battle logs for bases to be fixed? But didn't you hear? They fixed it in the mid-month patch. Because <laughs> 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 clearly they, they knew there was a problem, Ripper. They created a fix for said problem. Knowing that they were trying to isolate a singular problem, then went ahead and published the patch notes that they fixed said problem without apparently actually doing a single test. Or they would have known that they didn't actually fix it. I mean, how does that even happen? Like, I can understand sometimes things rip happening, like where different environments simulate different things. I get that. But this one, it's super easy. Attack a base, see a battle log, right? Like, that, does that not kind of imply that they didn't even test one single battle log? I mean, maybe I'm, maybe I'm being harsh about it. I just think... That's what, Im that's what that implies. It's, yeah. That is what that implies, right? <laughs> this, is, you know... Kind of weird. All right, so... Uh, whew. <laughs> All right. Anyway, still trying to look at this log. This log is not making much sense to me, but I'm wondering if the parsing pattern is different. All right. So here's Rom. Rex was the attacker, right? No, Rex was the defender. Voodoo Doctor is the attacker. So here we go. Rom is going to delay his by one round. So here we go. We can see in the first round, we don't really have anything going on. Matter of fact, I'm going to expand this out. We don't have anything going on in round one. Finally, Voodoo Doctor. Oh, these are just procs. Okay, those are just procs. So here we go. Voodoo Doctor gets off a shot in round one. Kills whatever this ship was. Then he attacks again. More procs. That's the end of round one. Here comes round two. Rex, as we see, gets no attacks off. All right, so here's more procs. Voodoo Doctor gets more attacks. Round three, procs. So Rex got no attacks in round two. Round three, finally, Rex is getting to throw some damage back. All right, now, this is important. Rex, were you running crass? Let's look at round one and see if Rex had... Cr yeah, he was. So there we go. We've proven now that crass basically nullied Rom and the Prime still got you two rounds. All right? Which, by the way, is actually why that I said... Now, for the record, Ripper's going to tell me you can't solve this with a Prime, and I do agree. I do agree. I do agree. However... I thought three round stacking was too much with Rom. Crass will help you counter Rom, but I thought the simple solution, I thought the simple solution was to remove the compatibility with this prime with Rom. All right. So it doesn't work with Rom, meaning that they would have to take Rom off 
which also means as a defender, you can get rid of Crass now. Okay? So, if that's the case, you can get rid of Crass and put something else in there. They can get rid of Rom and put something else in there if they've got the prime. If they don't have the prime, then they can keep Rom and they would only get one round unless you still kept Crass in there. Then they would get no rounds. I am okay fundamentally with two rounds. We already had one, guys. We had one with Rom and there was a counter. So I'm okay with there being a second round in existence. But three, I think, is too much. Not only that, but Ripper is going to point out that if you do remove Rom from the equation, then there is no counter. There's nothing that the defending player can do. If you do the prime and don't run Rom and don't run Crass, then you get two rounds no matter what, and there's no counter to it whatsoever. At least with Rom, you had Crass. But this prime has Indeed. no counter, whether you use Rom, Crass, or otherwise. So that's right, Shaitan. The counter nullified Rom in this case. So Rom made it plus one, Crass made it plus zero. Then the prime came in and made it plus two, which we are seeing Rex did not throw an attack back until round three. No, it's not RNG many hours. What's RNG? Rom? Rom's not RNG. Is he? I don't think Rom's RNG, folks. Let's double check. Oh, you're no. talking about Pawn is RNG. Well, yeah, that's fine. So if you made something strong enough to overcome Pawn when he procs, how bad is it going to be when Pawn doesn't proc? You see what I'm saying? Like, this is... So, Envenadia says, what does this conversation have to do about their dev note being about Pawn? Because, in their opinion... Do you remember... Do you remember way back in the day, guys, when they... <clears throat> they removed the Rialt to burn from big ships? You guys remember that? They said in the mechanics of the game, in lore of the game, or blah, 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 blah. It made no sense. It made no sense that a Rialta could damage and ultimately destroy a larger ship. Now, I argue against that. I argue for the swarm mechanic. Okay? So I argue against that. However, they pulled it from the game, citing that it was that it was not mechanically and, and not the way it should be and not the way that it that it should have happened in the game. Okay. Whatever. So, my guess is they're doing the same kind of thing here, Trader. I don't think they like the bold and ocean defenses. Yeah, I agree, but honestly, too bad for them. I, I mean, honestly, I think that's exactly what they're fighting here. I think that they don't like the ocean and bold defenses. They don't I, like the fact that a bunch of Rialtas yeah. and, and Turruses and baby jellies can destroy a Dideradex. Here's, well. here's, my, here's my big, big problem. You do not sell game balance for money only. Well, you I do mean, not I'm, make a game balance you. purchase only. Yo, what's up, Wolf? Thank you for your so eight-month reset of tier one. I find I find the developer note actually quite slightly offensive to the player base. I be like, hey, if if that is the, if that is what they what they claim that oh this this is to you know give balance again, you don't make that purchase only. <sighs> you do not claim balance and make it purchase only. I right? know. What are you I mean, doing I... here, Scopely? Do what? You do when you're scopely. Well, I mean, that's that's true. Hey, let me ask uh, a hypothetical question. All right. Th and this is just something crazy enough. Trader and I were talking about this earlier today. All right. We have, as a community, really felt. Ripper, you said this on the podcast yesterday, too, because I listened back and I, I took some notes. I, I felt like there was some really good discussion points yesterday. All right. Um, for example... Ripper, you said that it really feels like the game is pushing mindless, senseless monetization tactics 
really aggressively over the last six to 10 months, right? That is paraphrasing, but yeah. Yeah, essentially. Trader, you and I were discussing today, you and I were discussing today how this game thought that G5 was, was going to be good when it launched. And, and listen, arguably, it still <laughs> ultimately was better than G4, okay? You went, you went from 50 to 53 in the blink of an eye, and players made it to 60 in a little over half the time it took them to go to 50, okay? So, sure, but... Well, hang on. So, Trader and I were talking today, and I kind of had a small epiphany, Trader, I wonder, like any business, they've got goals they got to hit. They got money they got to meet. They got to, you know, hit their, their quotas, so to speak. Regardless of what's going on in the world, I'm the same way. I'm driving my people to, to sell cars despite the fact that it's a crap market. You still got to do what you got to do. Trader, I have heard this from Bubba Joe. As a matter of fact, I'm going to read a quote from Bubba Joe. Hmm. <clears throat> And I want to know from the whaliest of whales if this is an issue for you guys. FYI, as of today, and he sent this to me two days ago. As of today, I have less than 50 researches to go, zero buildings that I can spend materials on, and 20 of those 50 researches require common only materials. I have a couple of nodes in the galaxy tree extension that are still not completed, but only a couple. And now the new station tree, but I'm gated by special particles for those. I am nearly done being able to spend materials. Now, if canine, I'm sure that there's not a lot of people in this boat, but JB, IJ, K9, Big Dog, are you guys in a spot where you can't spend on stuff in the game? And the reason I asked that question, Trader, is it suddenly dawned on me. It suddenly clicked in my head. The reason we're getting so much garbage terrible <laughs> sold to us is because there's nothing else to buy g5 went too fast for them that's right envenadia if the whales have nothing left to spend on they start kicking out stupid All right, now, I know that this okay. might be a little bit of tinfoil hat, okay? This might be a little bit of tinfoil hat theory, but aren't those players at the leading edge the biggest spenders in the game? Aren't they the ones suspending or sustaining Scopely? Aren't they the ones sustaining this game? If they stop spending because there's no content for them to engage in, there's nothing for them to buy. Thank you. I'm going to go tinfoil hat here, Walrus Juice. If there's nothing for Canine Tooth to buy other than primes, what do you think they're going to jam out? A gazillion primes. I mean, it, it Trader, when you and I were talking today, it was like a light bulb clicked over my head. They're selling stupid shit because there's nothing left for the spenders to spend on. Hmm. Agreed. True. So, I, I, now I got to be careful in, in the commentary that, that I issue, but I would imagine, Trader, that Scopely is anxious not to repeat the first 60 days of G5. The first 60 days of G5 saw Ops 54 and 55 players. All right, because the first couple of levels were not, uh, they were not challenging. That is not why. 
It is why everybody had banks and banks and banks of stuff. And they banged through it partially because the requirements were lower and it could all be latted out because it was all common. But people also had gazillions and gazillions of resources that they had just been hoarding, waiting for G5 to open up. Sure. But he, he, here's the thing, DJ, the, the, those players that are at the top that have nothing nothing left to spend, not an insignificant portion in that, in that field, they don't really care if they spend 20k to advance a couple levels. Well, I get that. That is the point. I can, I can. They haven't been they able sell, to if spend they sell that the 20k. Materials and resources for G6. I will guarantee you within maximum two months we will have up 65 plus. Well, that's possible. I think if Scopely handles this intelligently, which there's a lot of doubt as to whether or not they can. But, you know, Ripper, there's a lot of memes going around today with some very unattractive screen captures of my face. <laughs> They're all right. amazing. Thank you guys, by the way, for all those. I hate them all. Um, <laughs> I love them. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> that, after giving it some thought, I think it can be handled appropriately. Now, whether or not I trust them to do it, it's a totally different conversation. But the more I think about it, the more I think that that is the way it has to be. Has to be. But... But, but what you're saying is they handle G4 poorly and they handle G5 poorly. So how much faith do we have <laughs> well, that that's they're going to handle G6 I don't, better? I don't have a lot of faith in that. I don't. But it can be done properly. Because the, the honest truth is like G5 basically had no content when it launched either. Well, I know. Except more research, new ships. More that research, new ships. That's exactly it. And and if this new expansion launches with the same thing, nine new ships and a couple of new miners and another 150 billion rep to grind out, like, that's been there, done that three times now. You got to come up with something new. You have to come up with something new. Because if all the players have, and, and to your point a few minutes ago, Rip, there are players who would spend $20,000 to go a couple of ops levels. That's exactly correct. And that's what's been missing from their monthly income for the last year. So why do we think we've been getting crap content shoved down our mouths, down our throats? Because these guys don't have anything to spend on. They're just jamming out primes just to fill in the bottom line. But he, he, here's a wild idea. How about you make actually good content that more people want to buy? Well, Trader and I, you and, you and I talked about that today. Like, honestly, one of the best pieces of content. Listen, they do stumble on one now and what, now and then again. Now and, now and then again. <laughs> All right. The whip. All right. I argue that that's a pretty daggone good piece of, good piece of content. Okay, I'm, I like that. There needs to be a free-to-play path. I'm hoping that there will be soon. But that is worthwhile content. The Mona Veen. I feel like that is worthwhile content. That is worth the investment. Voyager. I felt like that was worth the investment. That's probably the last one. Mantis, no. I mean... Uh, for the syndicate, but we're not using the ship. I like I like the loop for what it pays, but I'm not using the ship. The tally's pretty good, but that one didn't cost money. That one just required a scrap or something, right? Did we have to buy the tally? I don't think we had to buy the tally. So I'm just kind of saying that, like, they've had a couple of good pieces of content worth spending on. But it's not enough. It's not enough to replace generational progression. Players, as Ripper indicated, was willing, uh, were willing to spend tens of thousands of dollars for one or two ops levels. When you cap the game 
that's a lot of income that's disappeared now that has to be made up with reputation bundles or stupid ass primes. I love my new beat button. So you slipped a couple times not using it though. I know. It I'm still having trouble like using it in the middle of the word. You know the proper way to use a beep is to actually say the cuss word, but beep it in the middle. Let's practice. Yep. Let's practice. <laughs> ah, oh. Did that work? <laughs> but see, I find myself mm -hmm. I find myself like stretching out the word. <laughs> and then it just sounds stupid. All right. Because <laughs> I can't, my brain doesn't move fast enough for that. All right, DJ cannot react fast enough to beat me. No, try it, Rip. Give me a give me a three second countdown though. <laughs> Why would I give you a countdown? That would be that would be stupid shit. Ah, oh, damn it! I missed it. <laughs> I I beeped out the word stupid, but not the word poopy. Shit, Doug Ripper. <laughs> well you said you said it more than than i have today i have not without beeping it no I'm, you have i have not yes you have no i haven't yes trader have. ripper says i'm cussing too much yeah no such thing yeah i didn't wait i did did i cuss hot kettle yeah did i hot cuss kettle. what did i cuss about oh a bunch uh, of things what did i cuss about I think you're I think you're making stuff up. Hey Trader. No. Um before we come on, um, come on chat, back me up here. No. AJ says I cussed a little bit. <laughs> uh at least three times. Well listen, we've been on the air for two hours and one minute, so I've used my cuss words now for all that time. All right. <laughs> all right, uh Trader. You know what? We uh I before we uh, play anything else, and you guys are welcome to throw one or two more questions in chat, and then we're going to move on. Trader, um, players have been asking, and I, I didn't forget about it, but I didn't realize like the date has already passed. Today's October 17th. Um, Trader, we might start working tonight on our Twitch Plus sub list to get ready to do this big $2,000 giveaway. Ooh, all right exciting. yeah so here's what i've got i've got the july august and september list now we've got to merge them now i think i might have confused some people with this trader because each month i showed off that month list well then people were freaking out like oh i didn't see my name on the list but i was sub back in july i showed off each individual monthly list all right so like if you were subbed in july then i showed the july list then if you were subbed in august i showed the august list and then in the september same thing i showed the september list okay but I haven't mm -hmm. yet merged them all together, which is what I'm going to do now. And then assign the random numbers. As a matter of fact, Trader, I didn't think about, I mean, we could. Do you want to give away $2,000 tonight? I mean, I, we can. The Let's con do it. The contest is over. I just got to put everything together. All right. So if you guys want to mm. give me about 10 minutes to to like work on this i can do it here's the july list and here is the august list i mean i'm going to try not to blind you guys there's the august list and here's the september list so all i think i got to do here trader is um is copy this that's the september list we'll just copy everything into the july list all right i'm just going to come down here to the bottom of the july list there we go and i'm just going to copy it in right boom there we go now we're going to take the august list and we're going to add it in here's this one Okay. Oh, you're saying I should do it in a different page? Meh. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? I lose all my data? True. It's a very possible thing. 
a little bit of data loss. It's fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. All right, let's put it in. Let's put it in July. There we go. Now, real quick, is you're you're probably right. This is probably dancing with fire. I'm gonna come right here where the July list started, and I'm actually gonna take the July or where the uh, August list started. I'm gonna take the July list, and I'm actually gonna copy it to a different page. There we go. So now we've got the July raw data. So guys, uh, here is now the entire list for everybody for all three months. And I know that I've got to go down. I've got to remove myself. I saw my name pop up a second ago, so I must have forgotten to do that. You should also remove me. Wait, where did I go? Deleted. Here we go. Ultimate DJs. Yeah, I must have missed myself in one month. I took it out a couple of other spots. Uh, Cortana, thank you for your 13-month resub at Tier 1. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Um, oh, no, four. There's four. Okay, so I'm going to remove that. Delete those lines. Ripper, you want to be taken out too? Which one Which one was yours? Heroic Tashcan, mm -hmm. right? Why, yeah. are you, why are you taking yours out? Why not? All right. Heroic Tash Can. You sure? Yeah. All right. There we go. Heroic Tash Can is out. So, guys, that means that we have 2,514 entries. 2,514. We're going to draw 11 tonight. All right. Now. The way that uh, the way that I think I did this last time is I added a field that was equal to a random number, and then I just drug it all the way down. And then, trader, what did we do? We just sorted the random number field, and whoever showed up at the top was the winner of that drawing, right? Isn't that how we did it? Correct. Yeah. Correct. That's like the most visible, transparent way to do it, I believe. So, for example, what I would do here is, for example, I would sort that. And I think last time we did it, what, like one, two, three, right? So it was like one, two, three, and winner. Then that means its lube would be the winner for that drawing, right? Is that right? Yes. Okay. Correct. Well... In that case, the the job is done. So, do you guys want to? Wasn't planning on giving away two thousand dollars tonight, but do you guys want to give away two thousand dollars tonight? I mean, let's do it. I had I hadn't exactly planned on it, but I mean, I'm fine with it. You guys want? No, lube is not a winner. That was just a sample drawing, although that does make me feel wow, really bad. Big right there. That's impressive. That does make me large. feel really bad because Lube was the only one that had my back on the on the Gold Rush event the other day. <laughs> he was the only one who agreed with me, man. Oh boy. Yeah, Keymaster, are we are we gonna are we gonna give away two thousand dollars tonight in STFC packs? Yeah, I guess we are. I forgot about it. All right, wait. Rex says, I wonder if my name is on there. Guys, if you've already seen your name on the list, then it's there. Look, Rex. Look at all those entries you got there, Rex. Dang, look at you, Rex. Big old tier three sub. Look at you, buddy. All right. So here's how we're doing it, guys. Here's how we're going to do it. We are going to do it, Trader. Ten winners of a $100 pack. And then our 11th winner will win $1,000 in STFC packs. You do not need to be present to win, Gradumacated. That was the whole point of this contest. We've got everybody's usernames. So if they're not here, we will reach out to them and let them know. If you know who they are, clip it and send it to them. Big Smiley, I actually wasn't planning on doing the drawing tonight, but... We did say that it was going to happen in the middle of October, and I had kind of, I don't want to say forgot about it, but I, time got away from me a little bit, and so I, then I got to looking, and I was like, well, hey, 
I've got all the data. All I got to do is merge the three sheets, set up my random number generator trader, and we could give away $2,000. So, and people don't need to be present in order to win. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah, they don't have to be here. They they entered the contest. This was a sweepstakes. They are entered. So when the name is drawn, then Trader will record it, and we will notify that player that they have won a prize. Okay? Now, oh, Zandy says we could pull 11 and then do a random draw out of the 11. I don't know how I feel about that, Trader. I think we should just draw 10 and then draw the grand prize winner, right? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I think I'm that's sure. I think that's how we're going to do it. All right. Is there a time limit for those who are offline to respond to a claim? I, yes. Yeah, but it will be, it's usually 24 hours, but it will also be 24 hours from the time that I officially notify them. So, for example... If if somebody sees it tonight and claims it and sends me a message, then obviously they're in. If somebody sees it uh, or somebody doesn't see it, I'm not going from 24 hours from the time that I that I called their name. It won't be until tomorrow morning that I will send them their official notification of winning and the 24-hour timer will start. Okay? Yeah, it, it's not a big deal. Listen... People, people know that they entered for this. Cookie Monster says a day is not enough. I'm Listen, it's very, very rare that people on Discord don't answer me. And in the event that they don't answer me, it's usually not the next day or the day after. It's weeks. <laughs> I've actually had somewhat crazy enough, Trader. I had somebody message me, like, this was probably two weeks ago, with a battleship guess. Oh. I was like, oh, oh. Oh, no. Gradumacated says, what if a winner has DMs turned off? Uh, I can't help you there. They, they knew that this was happening. Now, we will post out an announcement that we drew all the names, and we could even clip that piece of it. Like, I'm cool with that. Um, I, I, listen, I'm not trying to screw anybody out of the prize, all right? But I've got I've to stick to my rules. The rules are 24 hours after official notification that they have to respond. But that doesn't mean we can't try everything in the world to get a hold of them. Somebody here is going to know who these players are, right? And you guys are going to share it with them. That's what you should do. All right. <laughs> Trader, here's what's going to happen. They're going to sabotage the people who are not here so that uh, we have to do a redraw. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, Sparty, thank you for your uh, two-month resub with Prime. Thank you very much. M. Lane, thank you for your four-month resub with Prime. Ape, 17 months at Tier 1. Oh, M. Lane was with Tier 1. Thank you guys so very much. I appreciate that. Um, I tell you what. You know what we could do? Trader, do you want to table this for like two minutes while I do an official Discord push notification that we are literally giving away $2,000 right now? Sure. And if you're entered for the contest, then you need to come in and watch. You want to do that? Fine to me. me. Yeah. All right, fine. Fine, fine. Never going to get around to killing you tonight, Trader. You're just doing yeah. this to delay me, so I don't I don't get to kill you tonight. I uh, it is getting a little late. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right, um, here we go. At everyone, you know what? In a wild hair moment, we've decided to award our eleven winners of the talking track partner plus twitch promotion right now we're drawing our names for up to two thousand dollars in stfc packs are you entered then come and watch the draw and be ready to claim your share of the prize let's do this. I was trying to think of something provocative to type there, Trader, but my brain's not working. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. I'm only 60 years old. Let's do it, everybody. All right. Yeah. Yo, what's up, son of Monopa? So, Let's see. No, listen. I, I think we actually discovered how to, how to say this guy's name. So, so, 
Sono Manapa. Isn't that what you said it was? So Sono Manapa? Isn't that what you said? Sono Manapa, thank you for your five gifted subs in the chat. Yo, can I get some hype for Sono Manapa? Let's go. have been pushed how long should we set our clock for what do you think five minutes yes five minutes ladies and gentlemen five minutes are on the clock we begin our two thousand dollar giveaway in five minutes holy cow let's do it riverwind we're gonna do it right now why not uh Let's go. Uh, 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 uh. Big hat. Big hat. Wow. That's a big one right there. That's impressively large. Yo, what's I'm up, so Phil? Positive. I'm full of positive energy. Thank you for your positive energy. I appreciate it so very much. Welcome in, everybody, one and all. Look at the viewer count jumping up. Graduated says, uh, are we able to select two $50 packs for a winner? Does it have to be a $100 pack? I don't care. You have $100 to spend. You have $100 USD to spend. All right, I don't care how you spend it. If you want to do it in a bunch of $5 packs, I had... Um, as a matter of fact, the last one of the most recent winners of ninety nine dollars trader, they used it to do like the five twenty twenty of the early levels of the prime, the Dolomite primes. So yeah, like five dollar packs. What game are you playing? Five dollar yeah. packs. No, they did. They still had. They were true free to play, man. They had the five twenty twenty, and they did the five twenty twenty of parts also. So love it. There you go. Garrick says, then the announcement hits. Takes a while to make it here in... Wait, you're in Antarctica? You're in Antarctica? Murphy, no, no, no. It'll, it'll be... What do you mean? So not even a pack? No, I take care of your taxes. I pay the taxes. Well, look at us jump 70 viewers in two minutes. Yeah, I, no, I pay the taxes. It's fine. It is cold up there. Hey, what's up, Dagger? Welcome. Thank you for your first time chat. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, no, listen, here's, here's how it works. Long story short, um, I will buy you the equivalent of a $100 USD pack. All right. If your currency is more, less, whatever, I don't care. I don't care about all these stupid fees and taxes. I just, I just pay it. You get the equivalent of up to wow, a big one right there. That's impressively large USD in a pack. All right. That's what you get. Woo! Falcon Paul says, wait, wait, why are you getting ads? Are you not subbed? Falcon Paul. You're not subbed? How are you getting ads? Shamey, shamey, shamey. Uh, let's see. Wait a second. Hey, by the way, Griffin, how do I um how do I find out somebody's first time, their first chat? Bafty was doing that the other day. You know, she looked in the chat. She was like, that, your first chat ever was this. How do you, you how do you find that? That's the tool she uses in Stream Elements. I don't know the exact name, but we can find uh, out. Oh, it's, it's a different tool. Okay, never mind that. I'm not 
not messing with it. Well, I was can, I was looking at OBS. Click their name and click it. Yeah, look at the messages and scroll up if that you don't have that too. Yo, what's up, Super Wedgie? How you doing, man? All right, so I can click their name, and then what? You can see all the messages. I messages can't see all the messages. Not, they, not not in. If they have a lot of them, then obviously you have to scroll a bunch. But you know. Oh wow, I see it. Oh, I see it. Okay, let's look at Benny Hill. Oh my gosh, over ten thousand messages. What? All right, I'm not doing all that. <laughs> I'm and not... half of them are cat dancing emojis. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, there you go. All right. Hey, what's up, Odio? Odio? Thank you. Wow, an amazing voice, he says. Well, how you doing? <laughs> Yo. But we like amazing voices. I do. Know. Yeah. I am so positive. Ripper's also got an amazing I'm full voice. of positive energy. Thank you for your positive energy, Oded. Ladies and gentlemen, we are 35 seconds away from drawing from our list over 2500 entries have been placed into what is that what it was trader 25 let's see yep 2514 names have been dumped into the I bucket think I bought this and here we go all right 14 seconds on the clock trader 14 seconds Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> time the twitch partner plus promotion officially comes to an end right here and right now hi this is vincent and the children taft man says how do you know if you're in we've been we've been posting our list we've been posting our list for several well for a couple of months right let's see taft man I don't, you I don't, have to have oh yeah, there you are, Taft man. Yeah, if you, it, yeah, there you are, Taft man. You've got a couple of entries in there. Look at that! Look at that, Taft man. You're ready to go! Oh boy! Oh, 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 trainer! Here we go. Our first one is going to be a $100 pack. $100 pack. Your choice. You can do a $100 pack. You can do a $50 pack. Whatever. You've got up to $100 USD to spend in the Star Trek Fleet Command store. It's going to be 3 2 one winner. Trader, are you ready to go? Tra Trader, wake up. She's ready. She's eating pretzels. Trader, wake up. I'm my, talking. Yes. My I'm prize, ready. prize master, quartermaster, can't, can't quartermaster, prize keeper, gatekeeper, key lock master can't be falling asleep on me. All right. I didn't. I didn't realize I was on mute. <laughs> I was talking the whole All time, right. actually. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, three, two, one, winner. Here we go. All right, guys. Here we go. First winner of a one hundred dollar pack. Three, two, one, winner. Ape 13, congratulations to you, Ape! Listen, I need to see way more hype in the chat. Way, way, way more hype. $2,000 in STFC packs going out right here, right now. Ape 13, congratulations to you. You are the winner of our first $100 pack. Trader, winner number two. Here we go. Three, two, one, winner. Captain Q! Prize winner number three of the third $100 pack. Here we go. Three, two, one, winner. Cobain. Congratulations to you, Cobain.
first winner, number four, Trader. Three, two, one, winner, Black Wolf. Congratulations to you, Black Wolf. Yeah. Yeah. This is more fun than Powerball. Whew, I'm sweaty now. Oh, God. Don't can, hurt yourself dancing. Can someone win more than once? No, they can't. Oh, I like this song. This song makes me happy, Trader. What have we done? We've done four. Time for number five. Yes. Prize yes. winner number five. Here we go. $100 pack going to three, two, one. Winner. Yo, Frodo. What's up, Frodo? Winner number, what, 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 what are we up to now? Number six? Number yeah. six? All right, here we go. Number six. Winner of a $100 pack. Here we go. Three, two, one. Winner, winner. Galen. What's up, Galen? Yeah! Yeah! Positive energy. Trader, that was number six, right? I keep losing count because I'm dancing like a fiend in here. Uh, that was yes, number six? Okay. Was number six. Time for number seven, people. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Shut it down. Yeah. Let's go. Mwah. Mwah. You're the best. Mwah. Give me hugs and kisses. Three, two, one. Winner. Yo, what's up, that art bar guy? Prize winner number eight. Here we go, Trader. Prize winner number eight. Three, two, one. Winner, Christopher Crow. Congratulations to you, Christopher Crow. One hundred dollar pack for you. And the song track is over. Oh no. Uh, you know what are you gonna do? Skip. So no. we're crying. Oh. This one goes oh, out to okay. all the players with poor RNG. All right, there's another one coming up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Prize winner number nine. Let's go. Prize winner number nine. Guys, we are getting very close. We're getting very close to the $1,000 grand prize winner. $1,000. Holy smokes. All right, Trader, we're on number nine. Is that right? Correct. Number nine. Here we go. Three, two, one. Winner. Star Fox. Congratulations yeah! to you, Star Fox.
Trader. We are here, number 10. The final $100 pack. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. Prize winner number 10. Here we go. Three, two, one. Winner, Wilhelm. What's up to you, Wilhelm? Oh, boy. I gotta take a hydrate. I'm very, very thirsty. All right, here we go, Trader. That is 10 winners, each of a $100 prize pack inside Star Trek I am Fleet so Command. positive. I'm full of positive energy. Guys, there is one name left. One name left. And this name... Wow. That's a big one right there. That's impressively large. This name will inject their account with $1,000. I am so positive. I'm full of positive energy. In Star Trek Fleet Command packs. This is insane. A thousand dollars. Can you imagine what I think ten bought this. vault of latinums would do for you? A thousand dollars. What do you do when you give a thousand dollars away on your stream? Well, you give away a thousand more. I'm sorry. What? Oh, yeah, I guess Just gave away yeah, 10 okay. packs, yeah, we give do. away 1,000 okay. now. I was, I was getting ready to have a really massive heart attack there, Trader. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. $1,000. Oh, boy. I actually am legit sweating right now. Are you guys sweating? I'm sweating. Trader, here we go. Electricity is thick. So thick you can cut Three, it with a knife. Three, two, one. And we'll reveal our winner right after this commercial break. <laughs> I'm kidding. Our winner of $1,000 in STFC packs, Gruffo! What are you doing, Gruffo? That's a big one right there. That's impressively large. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Gruffin126 for winning $1,000 in STFC Game Packs. Congratulations to all of our winners. $2,000. And game packs have been awarded on this stage here tonight. Woo! Oh, man, that is crazy. Ten vaults of latinum. Can you imagine what that's going to do? I mean, that's crazy. Pa <laughs> Paulo says, introducing the only real winner here tonight is Scopely and Exola. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Because, <laughs> you know, we are we are giving them. A two thousand dollars. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna bring those numbers up this month, Trader. There we go. Yep. We're gonna bring those numbers up. All right. That's yeah. Cool. McShiz says Scopely wins because you're funding them. Well, you know it is what it is. <laughs> That's why everybody watches this channel is for Star Trek, right? There you go. Woo! Man. Count DeVille says, can he wait to redeem and buy nine future bullcrap primes that Scopely releases? He can do whatever he wants to do. Yep, he can do whatever he wants to do. Oh, man. Oh, Viper. Wait, what? Anonymous just donated 
$500 to the Christmas Angel Fund? That's awesome. Oh, Amazing. my God. Thank you. Who did that? Oh, do you really want it to be anonymous? They sent me a PM. Do you really want that to be anonymous? Oh, okay. Yes, please. No name. Okay, got it. <laughs> Let me start reading. Secret Santa. All right. Uh, here we go. $500 Christmas Angel Fund donation. Thank you for everything you're doing. I wanted to contribute a little something to help others during Christmas in honor of my sister. Oh, that's really... Oh, God. This is going to make me cry, Trader. Uh, I wanted to contribute a little something uh, to help others during Christmas in honor of my sister. We unfortunately lost her at the young age of 26 years old, a little over a year ago, lost to a drunk driver. She had a passion for helping children, especially around the holidays, and would always jump at the chance to help any child in need. This game, but even more so your presence and positivity, even during these discouraging game months, was a welcome distraction and light during some of the darkest times my family has ever seen. Keep on going and know that you definitely have made an impact on people you've never met. Thanks again. D. Thanks, buddy. Holy crap. <clears throat> thank you very much. I really... What an honor. Uh, thank you. The privilege is all mine, D. Uh, thank you. That is unbelievable. Thank you and... Thoughts and prayers to you and your family as well in your tragic loss like that. I can't imagine, but thank you very much. For those of you who have just joined us here tonight, uh, we are raising money for our Christmas Angel Fund. If you have never uh, known what that was, then we're just basically trying to help out. We've adopted a couple families and we're trying to help them out this year and put uh, a couple of Christmas gifts underneath the, uh, the tree this year for families who may not otherwise be able to do that. Uh, you can see the red bar up atop. Uh, we are already 64% of the way to our goal, and uh, any little bit helps, whether it's a dollar, 50 cent, 25 cent, $50, 500 D. Thank you so very much. Anything helps to get us to our goal, Trader, to providing a Christmas for those in need this holiday season. Thank you guys so very much. I know that hits you right in the feels, doesn't it? Goodness gracious. Um, thank you guys all. Uh, what an amazing up and down night trader. All of the all of the emotions. We gave away two thousand dollars. We did nerd stuff earlier. We were comparing ship sizes. <laughs> 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 we we compared nacelle sizes. Then we did nerd stuff. Then we just got stupid. Gave away two thousand dollars. To which immediately the goodness of the community comes back in for our Christmas Angel Fund charity project this year. Thank you guys so very much. I really appreciate it. We've been all over the map here tonight, Trader. Um, as it is approaching midnight, you got a five-minute warning to your uh, daily reset. Uh, five-minute warning on your daily reset for our live studio audience. Thank you guys for your hydrates, bacon fish, that data, shadowed fox. Appreciate that very much. Cruzito says, did they remove the station delay pack from the store? I didn't think so. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Does Wouldn't guys... that be funny? Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't matter. Why does it matter? Because, because I could buy one of these other primes and it's got the same damn particle in it. Right there. The prime valor emblem. It's the same particle. Yeah, but you need. Yeah, no, I. Whatever. Uh, I what? Shadow Spark. Nah, nah, nah. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. What's up? My name is DJ. What? I'm a cat. And I love Star Trek. Appreciate you being here. Um, <laughs> Removing the pack is the balance. I mean, I guess, maybe. Uh, Trader, we were going to tinker around with Infinite tonight, but. um. I'm sleepy. I think, yeah, it's getting a little bit late. I, I don't know that I can stay up. Maybe, maybe we do have, we do have a podcast to do tomorrow. Uh, maybe, well, Oliver wants to stream tomorrow night too. I don't know. And I have to, I'm going to be flying up to Seattle tomorrow. So. Oh God. You, do you even, do you even want to say what that is so that we can give you loves and snuggles? 
You don't you don't need no. to. Okay, fair enough. Just know no, that you have not. all the love and snuggles. Guys, love Thank and you. snuggles. Love and snuggles for our trader. She needs your love and snuggles. Okay? Just don't ask questions. Just give the love and snuggles, okay? Oh, 3M says, is there a quick play game mode in the new game? Um, I kind of, but not really. You can decrease all the tech expenses and increase like the speed of everything, refining and all that stuff. But uh, now I'm still kind of learning. I'm still really learning that game. But I have I have spent some time. Uh, as a matter of fact, yo, Q, thank you. 29.39 for your 47 bits. I appreciate that. Oh, you're a handsome cat, too. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. Trader, um, I'll show you real quick. Let's I mean, these games are not designed for quick play. No, no, it's it's not. A... That is just not what they're designed for or meant for. So um... I'll tell you, here is uh, Star Trek Infinite. I've got 7.7 hours in it already, Rip. Now, I know you said you had 20 in it over just over the weekend. Yep. I've got seven uh, seven hours, 45 minutes in it, but I'm going to keep playing more. I like it. I, I, mean, I am yeah, I got the 20 it. hours basically Friday and Saturday. <laughs> Didn't play on Sunday. Yeah, I, I haven't put as much into it. But, um, hey, look, Dixie, Dixie Normus. Oh, my God. Dixie. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> got him. <laughs> uh, God, Dixie. You know what? Oh, my God. That reminds me. <laughs> Can I tell you a funny story? Trader, let me just ask you. Do you think... <laughs> do you think, Trader, that in my 20-plus year morning radio career, ask me how many times I got fined by the FCC? Oh, I'm guessing at least a dozen. Oh, really? No, it wasn't that much. It was actually <laughs> it was actually only one time. It was one time. And it was because I, I was reading a story about a guy that opened a furniture store. Wow. That's a big one right there. Mm -hmm. That's impressively large. He opened, and I didn't get this. I my when I read the name, my co-host practically leaned across the table to hit the dump button, but it was too late. He named his furniture store Sofa King Amazing Furniture. Sofa King. Now, say that really fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sofa mm -hmm. King Amazing Furniture. I read that, and I said that name like two or three times. I actually legit got fined $10,000 by the FCC. Whoops. <laughs> See? Oh, sure did. Had to pay. My station had to pay a $10,000 fine. Oopsies. Were they mad? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they weren't happy about it, okay? They were not happy about it, Trader. But it, it seems like it was not like a... Thing you set out with an intent to do, you know. Neither was Janet Jackson's nip, nip slip, but they everybody paid for that too. All right, that was that wasn't a thing either, but everyone paid for that. All hey, right, the FCC can suck it. Yeah, the FCC <laughs> has got un uncontrollable control issues, which is the nature of being uncontrollable. Uh, <laughs> I know, Vic. I told him. I even re I even referenced the story. They were like, uh, "Sir, you said," and I. Qu they even played it back. And by the way, in all fairness, I didn't recognize what it was, so I didn't say it as Sofa King Amazing Furniture. I was like, "Yeah, this guy's got a new furniture store. It's for whatever reason, he's getting a bunch of headlines. Lots of people are talking about it. It's called Sofa King Amazing." Uh, so <laughs> I can't even do it now because it's just ingrained in my head. All right. <laughs> it's ingrained in my head. Uh, it's called So Fucking Amazing Furniture or whatever I said. And they were like, uh, sir, that uh, could not have been a mistake. I was like, honest to God, I'm just that much of an idiot. All right. I I'm just that dumb. Sorry. Uh, my apologies. So, yeah. <laughs> Galvanox says, you said a bad word in reporting. I can say the F word on Twitch. I think. 
I don't like to because we have children to yes. watch. Yes, you absolutely can. I know say, I though. can, but we have we have young people to watch, so I try not to do it. Do we though? Yes. Hey, listen. Yes, we do. We have young people. Good I, night, Victor. Uh, you know, if, if you d d the environment I grew up in, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, tell us about that. Oh, uh, you no. know it's, what it's, clip? It's, what clip, and Venadia? What did you just do? Oh no. Yeah, Blaze, maybe the kids are in bed, but that doesn't matter. I always put up my VODs, too. <laughs> Thousands of people watch the, the VODs. Just finished the recording from the other night. Trek fan says, what was the super awesome news? I can't. I, obviously, I can't tell you guys that. It, it took me by complete shock and surprise. I can tell you that much. Mm, yes, total that shock was and dog. Super on. amazing, though. <laughs> <laughs> it, it took me by total surprise. As a matter of fact, Dr. Juby had a lot of fun with this. You guys want to see a couple of a couple of things that Dr. Juby sent me? All right, there you go. Thanks. This is a super attractive look at my face, by the way. I really appreciate it. You can see all seven of my chins in this picture. Uh, <laughs> this this I'm I'm highly offended by. Thank you, Juby. Th this really bothers me right here. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I know. Uh, this one I wasn't. Ew. This one I wasn't. I wasn't quite as upset with this one right here. Yes, me and my me and my girl Tay, T Swift. We were hanging out. We were watching the the uh, the chief tight end, Travis Kelsey. There. Uh, <laughs> let's see what else. Let's see what else we had. Um, Oh, there's there's a lot of them out there. Be honest, if you were at that football game, Travis Kelsey would be the last thing on your mind. Oh yeah, I'd be looking at a different tight end. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> by the way, I really like this one. They got they got you involved there, Trader. All right, uh, thank I you know. very yeah. I hate them all. <laughs> I mean, it is an embarrassing moment for me. Look at my freaking face, man, Ripper. I am not at all happy that you solicited this facial response from me on the internet. This is going to live forever. Oh, now. no, I am. I am incredibly happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> the mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. You, Galvi, and Juby, just you were in on it. You were in on it. OK, I do not appreciate being led astray down this horrible path of. Hey. There was no lies, no deception. You just got the truth, you know. Yeah. That that that, that you know, it was, would create. Just realized my cat was you know, a little off center. Why? But you know, fix that up a little bit. There we go. My cat was blocking part of my status bar. Look at that. So I know 3M. If I hadn't started the simulcast, it never would have happened. This is on our second episode. You guys are really making me rethink this whole Sambulcast idea. Hmm. All right. I like it. <laughs> I mean, you can't, I you can't, you can't, you can be sure there will be more and more tricks and shenanigans in the future. <laughs> I can't wait. I got, I got more messages, uh, trader about it. Uh, let's see right here. Hey, just watch the VOD on Twitch. Thank you so much. I absolutely love this option. Um, I find it a lot more engaging having the video and it's so much better having the option to see what you're talking about uh, when you reference something on screen like charts or something like that, for example. So yeah, uh, we, the, the mail continues to come in with, in response to the uh, in response to the simulcast. So I'm glad you guys are liking it, but you know, it is a big win. This stuff right here, like I, I would not be wildly surprised if this ugly face ends up becoming some kind of like actual real meme somewhere like this guy. Okay. This guy, we've seen this meme everywhere. This is just as bad. It's, it's actually so good. <laughs> I'm so, listen, this is I am just as bad. Kind of proud. We got that. I am exactly the way it should have happened. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. It's terrible. Actually, Embrace it. Embrace it. I guess so. Uh, by the way, Benny Hill, I don't know if you've noticed this, but on the YouTube VOD of the podcast, we actually have turned off monetization. 
So there are zero ads that are playing on the Twitch simulcast over on YouTube. So if that ends up being a little bit better for you. Obviously, for the record, I would prefer you watch it on Twitch because we do get revenue from Turbo. But on YouTube, we did turn off monetization because of all the copyright stuff I do. I break a lot of laws. <laughs> so I can't turn on. If, if, I, if I turn on monetization, then I'm just going to get sued a bunch. So I figured I would just turn it off. So Benny Hill says, I heard a little bit of cussing on YouTube. Yeah, you're allowed to. You just can't monetize it. So, mm. I mean, not crazy, but I don't. I I didn't say the F no, word. No, no, no. You can you can still absolutely monetize it on YouTube. Oh. The only thing that might have might happen is that you get limited to a less paying subset of of yeah. advertisers. Yeah, that's true. I do have a radio license, Vic. Um, I have a radio license. I don't have a video license. So, yeah, that's a problem. And Griffin tried to get me to remove all that stuff, and I'm like, eh, I don't want to. It's a part of the show. It's a part of the. It's part of the chemistry. So I don't really want to do it. Taffman yeah, says, "What shocked and upset you during the podcast? I can't talk about it yet." Things, listen, stuff. things and, and listen, things and folks, stuff. Things and you stuff. You will know soon enough, and you all are going to be so excited. No, you're going to be jumping for joy. Stop it. They can do it and that, right. And that meme of your face is going to be plastered all over Discord the day the news comes out. <laughs> I guarantee you. They can do it right. Okay? They can do it right. Listen, DJ. There's a they lot of things can. they could have done in the past, but I didn't. Know. I know. I know. But they can do it right. Hmm. You're still hoping. I'm still hoping. Hmm. Deathblade says, I am already proud. Galvi says, this is so cryptic. I get it. Hey, good night, Zandies. Appreciate it. What, 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 what do you mean we need you? River, we need you to ask more questions. Why, why would I ask questions? Ripper already knows everything. Like, it's not. Well, no, that's not true. He doesn't. What are you talking mm. about? He doesn't. I, I feel I, that. I think Ripper knows all. He doesn't know. The thing He's that really that genius. he doesn't know the thing that can still salvage this, save us all. Yes, oh. I am. Yeah. That is what that is, DJ. I am going to try to to salvage it because honestly, honestly, to quote one of my favorite movies. Okay, the odds be ever in your favor. I love those movies oh. too. Uh, to be perfectly well, honest with you, I do believe that this is the proper mechanic for the future of this game. I do believe it. But man, if they mess up the math. And like I said, the last three, four months does not give me a lot of confidence on their basic arithmetic skills. Okay? So if they mess up the math, then it's bad news bears. But this is the proper move if they can implement if well, there you go. They can implement. Hmm. So it's a big you, I, if. I guess big you could, if. it is a big if, and I guess you could say that there's a lot riding on this. That like I actually fundamentally disagree with this being the right move. Uh, no, I think it had to happen. I think it had to. I've been talking for, for what months. It's worth, I agree with DJ. I for I've been talking for months about. I I, I can't I can't. I've been talking for oh. months about the reset that this game needs. Okay, y'all can DJ. Yeah. Yeah, which I gotta head out. Good night. Good night. Have good a night, safe dear. flight. Have a love good night, you. Trader. We love Thank you. Good night, Trader. Safe Lots travels. A love and Thanks. snuggles. Thanks, DJ. I appreciate it. You're good welcome. Night. Uh Viper says, whatever happened to the pack I designed? Uh no, it's being built. They just haven't launched it yet, but it's coming. Uh Gradumicated says a complete rebalancing is a year or two overdue. Oh no, don't, <laughs> no, don't give him that much credit. Um but Yeah, no. But this, this listen there's a there's a lot that could go wrong here there is a scenario you in which know they get it's it right. gonna go wrong <laughs> there's a there is a scenario in which it works properly but there's like 373 <laughs> ways for this to go wrong <laughs> never tell us the odds <laughs> oh god <laughs> Could it burn and to the ground? Like yeah. One, oh, yeah. One way for this not to go wrong. What do you believe will happen? <laughs> I, 
I, I am picturing right now the the Doctor Strange clip where they're like where he's like traveling through time to look at all the possibilities. Like, what scenario do we beat Thanos? How many times do we win? One <laughs> out of like millions. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> I know. That's a joker. It's exactly what I was saying. That's so funny. Your chat just came up. Why is a Doctor Strange quote from Avengers coming to mind? That's exactly what I was thinking. Out of all the possibilities of the way that this thing could go, um, there is one way that it goes right. EJ, sometimes the odds do work in your favor. All you have to do is ask Greffa. That's true. That's true. Greffa won $1,000 in STFC packs tonight. Isn't Gruffa pretty much like a very light spender? Like maybe even free to play? Gruffa hangs out in our communities. So I, I am pretty sure that he's like, does not spend on this game. That's yeah, gonna, not anymore. That's, I mean, that's going to change his account, dude. It's going to change his account. What a win. Congratulations, huge Gruffa. Win. That's a huge win. If he's wise with it, that's true. Don't Massive. Buy, don't buy vaults of, vaults of Latinum. <laughs> oh, you. <sighs> anyway, all right. Uh, you guys want to hang out for a few minutes? I feel like I should probably go to bed. It's midnight. What do you want to do? Oh, okay. I got to get up early and take Oliver to school. It is 6.15 my time. <laughs> I know. I should do a special show on the grand prize winner to advise him. Actually, Voltron, that's a brilliant idea. Like, what should he spend his prize money on? We could count. Can we show up on his doorstep with a huge check and ring the doorbell? No. I don't, those, no. those big checks cost money. I'm broke now. <laughs> I got nothing left. I'm broke! I, ain't no, nothing, I, ain't I, actually, I actually slept for... Uh, Two, three-ish hours earlier. I cannot send him to school in an Uber. Uber doesn't come up the mountain. What would I put? A, what would I put a thousand dollars into? You can, you can just Ooh. tell him to walk to the next location where Uber does go to, and then take an Uber. From I'm pretty there. sure I don't have any Uber around here. Like, I don't think there's Uber. Mm. Uh, just tell him to take a bike to school. Doctor Juby says, "Who won the Bubba Joe meme contest?" We actually haven't chosen winners on that yet. I'm still waiting on my special guest judges. Uh, but we're, we, we do need to do that soon. I promise we'll do it before the end of the month. Uh, I'll, I'll push a little bit tomorrow. I'll send a couple of messages, try to get them to finish the up. The sun up in Germany? Huh? What? Not yet. No, the sun is not up yet. Sun's not up yet. <laughs> kind of digging this soundtrack right now. Yeah, it's the right vibe. Yeah. It's just kinda, the post giveaway kinda, after show after party vibe. Yeah, it's kind of chilling me out right now. Starting to not sweat as much. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Actually, my, a, one of my light bulbs day. broke. So now I have trouble uh, walking through my apartment in the dark. <laughs> I don't have a replacement in the house. Yikes. You need me to order you a light bulb? Hey, whatever no, happened fine. to the lights that we were supposed to dress up on ladder? Huh? 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 I don't have any. I thought... Oh, I didn't give them to you, did I? No, you didn't. <laughs> were they to... part of the lights that you were supposed to yeah, have delivered I, to him but that... came to you? Yes, and then I meant to bring him to Los Angeles and I forgot. Crap. Whoops. Crap! I'll just send them uh, with that case of Coors Light you're going to throw out there. Yeah, I could do that. You want some beer? I'm going to send you some beer. Sure. Because <laughs> you ain't getting it if you're getting Coors Light. <laughs> they might rude. actually not let it across the border. That's rude. Honest, if it's Coors Light. The ladder's playing hard to get. I know. It's crazy. Uh, why don't we do legacies from other players? Uh, I just said I need to go to bed. Got to get Oliver to school tomorrow and stuff. I probably should get ready to go. Who says don't think you can order beer? I can order any anything and get it delivered to my to my door. They just drop it off at the door. Actually, a whiskey, beer, uh, whatever you want. That's kind of cool. Hey, Corey. By the way, they they claim they're gonna check your ID, but they never do. They just drop it off because you know they don't have time. Corey, Accurate. I want to thank you 
Uh, at least I'm assuming it was you, Corey, right? Corey sent Oliver DJs, and, and he couldn't resist opening it. He actually, I told him not to open it until we went in, you know, until we did a stream, and then he opened it behind my back. Um, <laughs> Corey sent him four cases of Fig Newtons. <laughs> wow. Great gift. Four gifts. cases. I ain't going to lie. I've eaten a few of those. Okay. Yeah, I know there's a dad tax. How many cases went in your mouth? I well, I we've put three of the cases away. We're we're still on our first case, but I've had two or three little snack packs. Uh, so Corey, thank you very very much for that. I by the way, I love fig newtons, man. Those things are freaking delicious. I love me some figgy newtons. So thank you. That's very very kind of you. Four cases. God, it's gonna That's last. Amazing. For, it's gonna last forever. But uh, I really do appreciate that. Thank you. I they love, are great with I, milk. I, I love Fig Newtons, man. You know what's crazy? All right, I'm going to get gross on you for a second. I had, I think in my older age, I think we might have actually talked about this before. I think in my older age, I am actually becoming lactose intolerant. And, and it's weird because, like, I can still eat ice cream. I can still cook with milk. I can, But if I just drink a glass of milk, it rocks my world, man. But now I can cook That's with it. That's very common. I can bake with it. Um, but like I cannot drink a glass of milk and I can't put it in cereal. I can't. Yep. It just it funny, destroys funny story me. On that, since uh since I you know had my big Crohn's outbreak, I I have milk is a bad, bad thing for me. It kills no. me. Oh, it does. It just destroys me. And uh and so now I've been drinking um Fair Life, which is like a lactose free milk. By the way. I know it, it is a little bit more expensive, so I don't get to drink as much of it because it's freaking expensive. But it is delicious. It tastes just like real milk, but it is it's like almost six dollars for a half gallon. But I love the chocolate Fairlife milk, especially uh, Fairlife is so good. So good. Mm -hmm. Um but that is uh that is what I have to do in my cereal now because and it's weird because I can cook with milk, I can bake with milk. But I can't, I, I guess if it, if it's just concentrated milk, like, you know, four, six, eight ounces at a time, but it just tears me up, destroys my gut. I'm sick. I'm literally sick for two days. No, it's not Dude, reflux. Need... It's not heartburn. It literally destroys my entire digestive system. Okay. Same. It, it destroys me. <clears throat> I uh, gotta get the lactate. In intense pain for like twelve hours after milk. Yeah, now. it it just it kills me. Yeah, I can do milkshake. I can eat ice cream, but drinking a glass of milk will literally lay me up in the bed for two days. It's crazy. I don't understand it. Wait, is that a thing? Shady Pine says most Asians are lactose intolerant. Is that real? I think so. Yeah, that is a fact. Yes. Is it really? Dude, I've drank milk my entire life. But in the last probably four to five years, it has turned from being one of my favorite drinks to something I can no longer have. You're not alone. It catches up with you. It's actually very common in what you're experiencing. And in fact, when I was a teen, I had a, a, a friend our age now who told me that. And he said the milk is actually not good for the human body and we can't digest it as we get older. I thought that was the craziest thing I've ever heard. I, th I thought it was he was wrong, but no, he's he's actually right. That's nuts. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There's news. Um, Yeah, it, it just it kills me, man. I'm literally down for the count for like two days when that happens. Dude, oh, uh, why is my game? Oh, it's in the event reset. Hasn't it? Hasn't it been twenty minutes? Why is my game? Okay, there it goes. My game. My game client is being stupid, Ripper. Well, you know. <laughs> you know the definition of insanity, DJs. I know. I should just stop. I gotta do my refunds though, man. Uh, I wonder we, who's going to be the next person here in the, in the, in the talking track uh, panel to stop playing. Wait, what? To stop playing? Good question. Who's going to be the next one? Not me. I'm here to stay, baby. I'm here to stay. I stopped. I'm still here. 
Yeah, but I mean, I, I can't stop. <laughs> no, I know. I can't stop playing. <sighs> Puck says that humans are the only mammal that continue to drink milk into their old age. Well, not me. Correct. <laughs> not me. All right. You're reformed. I, uh, yes, Earth has recalled me. <laughs> Querity says, did you know that one in three Asians are related to Genghis Khan? Is that true, too? I'll have to Snopes that and find out. Somebody fact check me, please. Fact check that. Galvi says, stop paying, keep playing. That's my new motto. Buddy, listen, you guys, you guys think I'm all whaley and stuff. Listen, I am at the same spot. I, where is it? Hold on. There, right? Oh, my God. My game client. It's for... <sighs> okay, there it goes. Nice. Um, look, I still have the same number of points that I started mm -hmm. with at the beginning of the month. That was, uh, what did I buy? Oh, I bought the Fleet Commander slot. That's what I bought. Fleet Commander slot. That's it. That's all I've yeah, done I'm not, this month. I'm not tearing up Odo either, nor last month, but I was wildly irresponsible with Voyager and 7 of 9 in particular. I'll yeah, I was not super great with 7 of 9. Now, I got to be honest with you. I am attracted to this treasury. Why? Because of the Dill. God, I, I just, I have to look at anything Dill rich because... I'm so behind on research, and research at my level is so expensive. So this is actually a really attractive treasury to me. I haven't bought it yet. I still have 36 hours to think about it. I'm probably going to get it because it, it is a value-rich treasury for me. But, I mean, still, that's the, uh, that's the second thing that <laughs> I've got. I, I, st I still am contemplating the whip. I would like to have it, but... But for the refinery, I don't care about the sea land. I just want it for the refinery. The refinery, dude, I pulled another 39,000 of those. Um, what are they called? The proto matter this morning. Yeah, I see. I need that. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I know one thing that we can do real quick because the event mm -hmm. ends in 24 hours. I have been saving. I've been saving my fleet commander materials for you guys. I've got enough to try uh, a, a tear up. But I don't think it's gonna oh, be. Go. I don't think it's gonna be super exciting because I'm pretty sure my bonus is now over 100. percent so, Is there not an event coming for this? Or it's or up no, right now. It's up right it now. It is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Red alert. Yeah, it's up right now. That's why I was saving it uh, for you guys. I haven't done it yet because it's actually online right now. So I could tear this thing up, but see, then I don't have any proto matter to level it beyond this. So if I get well, one before, tier up. Does it need to be the Metreon Cascade, or should I actually look at something else? Go with the Cascade, but can we get FaceTime so we can't get your reaction to it? Uh, it dude, it's over 100%. Um, there's no, oh, so you're never... Yeah. We already know. Yeah, okay. you already know. But that's why I'm saying, like, should I... Wait, 3M, what... No, this is Forbidden Tech. Wait, what did he ask? Was he asking about Fleet Commander? Or well, you were talking tech? about Fleet Commander, so now you're in Forbidden Tech, so I'm confused. Yeah. Oh, did I say Fleet Commander? I am so sorry. Yes. I meant Forbidden Technology. There's an event up right now. It's called Tech Booster. Okay. Yeah. That's where we all got confused. Sorry, We're back on the I same used page. the wrong words. My bad. Did I say FC or did I say FT? And I just said it wrong. You said Fleet Commander. Oh, I thought, okay, sorry. My bad. My apologies. Rude. My apologies. Yeah, no, there's a Forbidden Technology event up right now. And I've been, uh, I've been saving my stuff, but I still don't have the Proto Matter. You need that whip refinery, man. I'm like 68,000 flush of that now with two good pulls. Oh, God. It changes everything. I know, but I said that I would stand with the with the community. Hey, what's up, Sona Manapa? Thank Oh, get yourself a rare whip. Okay, I can't. Buddy, it's I can't. Sonoma Napa. Sonoma, Sonoma Napa. So Sonoma, Sonoma Napa. No, no, no. Like Sonoma County, Bay Sonoma Area, where your wine Napa. comes from. Sonoma, yes. Napa. Listen, I know that I wouldn't have any regrets, okay? I know that I wouldn't have any regrets. And and technically, Sonoma, thank you so very much for that $50. Technically, I can't spend it on that. Technically, oh. 
everything that the show raises this month is for the uh, is for the Christmas Angel Fund. For the kids. Yeah, it's for the kids. So I appreciate it. Your fifty dollars will buy a whip for some child somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Don't clip that. And where's the whip sound effect? I got the whip sound effect. There you go. Uh, no, I, know. I do. By the way, I really do appreciate it. But yes, I I have committed one hundred percent of of the proceeds from the show to the Christmas Angel Fund until we hit our until we hit our goal. I know that sounded stupid. Um, listen, maybe the <laughs> hashtag ki- whip the kids. Maybe the kid plays STFC. Come on. Mm. Maybe he wants a Ferengi mining whip. Gosh. By the way, guys. All right. By the way, uh, we're really, really close to finalizing the details on this. And if everything goes according to plan, Griffin, I will personally, personally be delivering these gifts dressed as Santa Claus. I cannot wait to experience that moment and share it with the universe. What an amazing event. <laughs> I know. It's going to be And the natural progression. Great. I mean, because you've been Santa for these kids for the past couple, three years. Now you're going to be actual Santa. Yeah, now I actually get to dress up. Uh, so, yeah, if everything works, if everything works out, then that's how we're going to do it. Uh, Ripper, make Ripper the elf. Uh, no, actually, Trader is going to come and be my elf. Santa's why little helper. I, why should I be the elf? He's going to be the Grinch. We're going to turn Listen, his heart. I actually, gonna, I actually, I actually love Christmas. Well, yeah, I know. We're going to turn his heart three sizes larger. All right. And uh, yeah, Griffin's going to be there to, to video everything. But um, Trek fan says I'd refund that since the person had a purposeful intent for you to spend it on that item. Listen, he already said he's okay with it. If he if he says I demand you spend it on the whip, then I'll do that. But I'm sure that he is fine with me donating it to a child. But, but as long as it's not for an actual whip, <laughs> just to be clear. <laughs> All right, Sonoma, I I will let you have the final say. If you insist on me buying a whip, I will. If you are oh, fine no. with it going to a child, then we will send it to the children. All right, there you go. I'll let you decide. Um, but yeah, so Griffin is coming and Trader is coming and I'll be going. I actually don't think that Bubba is going to be able to make it. Um, but I do actually, and I don't know if this is, see, look at there. Thank you, Sonoma, Sonoma Napa. Did I say that right that time? Sonoma? Yes. Napa. Okay. Sonoma, thank you for that. Correct. He says for the children. Thank you. I appreciate that. For the children. There you go. All right, Trek fan, we're good. See? He said make it he said give it to the children. Galahad, thank you. By the way, love that show. I actually am probably a whole season or two behind. But I actually uh if that's a reference to the hands made tale, I like it. I like the show. Galahad, thank you for your five month resub at tier one. Appreciate it. Um so we are uh we are planning a big thing. And if everything goes according to plan, we actually have another uh, another m- m- person. Yeah, I'm not even I'm not even going to tease that yet. But we will have a surprise special guest if everything works out. I'm concerned that you paused at the word person. Why? Like, what else would it be other than a person? Is there an alien coming? No, because I was going to be a little bit more specific, but I don't want to lead to any speculation. Ah, so it's just an individual. Yeah, it's a person. Individual. Gradumacated says you have suspicions. Who do you think it would be? (laughs) Rogue Maya? That'd be awesome. (sighs) Will Wheaton? No, it's not going to be Will Wheaton. I mean, that'd be cool. Maybe. I doubt it. Uh, we'll see. You guys think it's back? I don't know. We'll see. Gradumacated says, I can't say when you're not even wanting to tease it. Well, that doesn't mean I have to confirm it. I would like to know what you, what you think. I already told you Griffin's gone. Trader's gone. I'm gone. All right. And Bubba's not. That's, that's all I got. Yalvi says he wants Will Wheaton to show up. That would be fantastic. That'd be very, very cool. That would be cool. That would be cool. 
It'd be a lot more cool than <clears throat> killing worms, which I'm doing right now, unfortunately. I uh, did that earlier today. Uh, yo, what's up, Spartan718? How and where are new servers able to do that new crappy mining event for tokens? Do you still have it? I think that event's over, dude. That event ended uh, earlier today. Um, but how do newer servers do it? Well, nobody under Ops 35 even got it. Um, so 34 and down, you didn't get the event anyway. And if you're Ops 35, then you've got access to the Fisha and you've got access to, to Concentrated Latinum. So, wait, Joker says they extended it to a two-day? Wait, is it still up? Did I bust my hump mining all that stuff in a day? That would be hilarious. It is not up for me. It is not up. You got Joker. Joker. Quit messing with me, man. Quit messing with me, man. Oh, I forgot. I need to do my forbidden technology. Hey, so what should should it be the Metreon Cascade? I mean, I what feel else like would you do? You were committed to maxing the Metreon Cascade before you got all mad at the math and itched the whole thing. That was no. your go to. Dr. Juby says, upgrade the whip. I don't have it. I did. I did. I upgraded it to tier three. I've got 30,000, though, 36,000% mining bonus now. Look out. I know, but I said that I would stand in solidarity with the community. If I, I mean, one if I pull buy of that, those, it makes um, me a hypocrite. That's not true. And it's not fair or true for people to make you feel that way, number one. And number two, when you get a, like an 80,000 proto matter pool, you're going to be like, yeah, what, what was I thinking? I really do. I mean, I know Plus it's if worth they're going to start doing events for, you know, specifically for having the whip. Like a. No, a it's not Spartan. Like yesterday. Oh, Thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate you. I know. I do Completely want it. Right. I, I, I've said from the beginning that it's good. Like, and, I, and I've said, like, this is a piece of monetization that actually has been handled the right way. Like, it provides value and worth. I agreed with all of your points, and further, it made me feel good about my purchase yesterday. See that Gold Rush event come out for me to take further advantage of it. So, if you're excited about, for the first time in months, spending some money in the game, spend the money in the game. I haven't asked Scopely for the whip, Viper. They're not, they're not going to give it to me. They're afraid you'll use it on children, apparently. <laughs> I know, Juby, don't make fun of me. It's not, I'm not not buying it because it's good. I'm not, I was, I'm trying to advocate for the fact that it, it should be available for everybody. Shiny says, don't buy it. Dude. <sighs> Aren't there other mechanics to where we are now getting the rare and the epic um, forbidden technology tokens to buy FT in through other events or something right now? Uh, not at this moment, but we have seen a few events that show up that way. Yes. So that technically that could continue and it will be free to play. I mean, they clearly have a path for that. Well, at, if maybe eventually, but right now that particular forbidden technology does not have a refinery option. You see, uh, you would, it needs to be added in here and it's not here at the particular moment. No, it probably will be because these mining ones, they weren't here. And, yeah, they were added And these recently. epics were added here recently as well. So they probably will add it. And the whip refinery does give you access to those rare and epic fragments to unlock other FT free to play. I so know. it's like, what's well, not to like? All right. You know what? Fine. Piss on it. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just be Thank irresponsible. You. I rest I, my I, case. I, listen, I do like it. All right. I have been encouraging people to get this thing. Honor above all says it's too expensive. You know what? Actually, I mean, crazy enough, at fifty dollars, like it's it's more worth it than a lot of things in this game. It's Seeing anything for forty nine dollars in this game is actually a relief to me, which is sad <laughs> to say, but it is. Seeing something at forty nine dollars that's actually worth something, I know. Blaze says this is the most responsible, irresponsible thing that you've done this month. I know. I agree. <laughs> I know, right? Ooh, and look at the tear up catalyst and the proto matter that you're going to get to help score in the event today. Amazing. Yeah. And it still comes with 4,500 G5 materials. I and like it. And 9,000 G4 materials. That's actually a lot. All right. 
Okay, yeah. I'm throwing it. some of my own hype in the chat just gotta, so you don't yeah, change yeah, your mind. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. It's, it's a good pack. He's <sighs> gonna do it, everybody. Damn it! I gave in. <sighs> there it is. All right, it's done. A pause button. No. I don't want boo hit. button. No. Where's the? Do you, where's... Do you have a boo button? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, they got me. Oh. oh, they got you again. They got me again. Congratulations. You're the new owner of your Ferengi whip. Should I just go ahead and get my treasury unlocked now, too, so I don't feel bad about it later? Yes. Benny Hill, um, that's still that's still pending. It it is It, it does exist, but... Okay. There you go. I got the whip, Blaze. There you go. Ha! Watch me whip. I like it. And watch me nae nae. Watch me whip, whip. Oh, and no. watch me nae nae. You, no, you got to go to Devo for whip that it. if you're looking for a song. And whip it good. All right. Da 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 da. All right. Yeah, that I'm going to get me... my I'm going to get my treasury too. I don't want to regret so it later. Happy. I'm going to I'm going to knock it out because I don't want to I don't want to second guess myself later. I'm just going to do it. You're the new owner of millions of dilithium. Millions. Hey, Griffin. <laughs> I am Gri so happy right now. Griffin, look what I did. Go home, DJs. You're drunk. Griffin, first, first, I spent two thousand dollars on Scopely packs tonight. <laughs> Sorry. I got, I got two thousand. Gave two thousand dollars for the for the people. Yeah. And then, and then I got the whip. You got the whip, and now oh, my treasury. Oh, that's what happens when you mix Goldschlager and Triple Sec, everybody. I kind of want that discovery warp range thing. Oh, it goes so far and so fast. Maybe, maybe I should get the Discovery Prime. It's only $49. Oh, it's only $49? That's $1 per point of warp range. No, 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 no. It's only, wait, a dollar per warp range? Yeah. That's such a good deal, man. That Prime Dollar Emblem is calling your name. Make your selection at any time. Oh, yeah, but then. Yeah, see, then, but then Blaze is right. Then I got to spend another $100 for the big kahuna. That will be 30 cents per warp range. Oh, it's a better deal. It's a better deal. Okay. All right. Just looking to see if there's anything else I can buy and make fun of in here. Hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Made me immeasurably happy. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I listen. Did you already I, buy the Prime base rating pack? Uh, no, I did not buy that pack because that's fundamentally effed. Okay. Yeah. I, I listen. Whatever. I will pay for things that help me. I am not paying for terrible game design. I'm just not. Okay. I'm not. Wham um, says, "Don't forget the territory capture BP." Guess what, Wham? I find no value in it. I'm not buying it. I got, I, nice. There's no there's no value in that for me. I don't give a damn. I give zero dams. 
about the territory capture battle pass. I'll do the free because of because of the rewards they're in, correct? Yeah, yeah. I don't give it well because of the research. I don't care. I don't care about the, the research looks terrible. To me. I mean, there's mm-hmm. a couple, there's a couple, there's a couple good ones. All right. But, but, but that's it. Like, I'm not, nah. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, I ain't doing it. Yeah, I know, Vic. Carla shards. <sniffs> I don't yeah, care that come much. On. I don't care that much. Uh, Jesse says, was that an impression of yourself or an impersonation? <laughs> Ooh. I'm going to let you guys ponder on that. All right. Bro, that's deep. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys ponder on that one for a minute. Um, let's see. So, all right. So let's go in. Let's do, let's do some forbidden technology stuff. We'll do the metric. Have you made cascade. up your mind on you're going to do the cascade? Okay, good. I, I think that's probably, no, maybe I should do the whip now. Well, I mean, the whip will take you to 36,000% up from 10,000%. I, I should do the whip. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the whip. Let's do the whip. Um, and it's cheap. The whip is cheap. The whip, whip, whip. Wait, 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 wait. Now, hold on. Do I do I have a refinery now? And will that refinery reset when I tier it? Probably, right? Yeah, start with that. Start with the tier one refinery. Mm-hmm. Where is it? In the Forbidden Tech? Great call. Okay. It is indeed. Uh huh. There it is. There it is. Don't worry. Okay, good. And I've already done my uncommon, so I've got bells and i got proto matter in here, okay? I uh, got plenty of C lat, so let's pull it. Ooh, let's see. I'm excited. Yeah! Look at the state of that! Give me a break on the first pull. Yeah. If that's, you don't like that, you don't like Scopely RNG. I feel better about it now, okay? Uh, I do. I, that's, Instant gratification. Yeah. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're actually, crazy enough, we might do the Metreon Cascade tonight. But we're going to take the whip up a tier so that we can reset that refinery and go again. So yes, sir. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and upgrade this thing. Boom, because now, be now we have the proto matter to uh, – we've got the proto matter to take it all the way up. A couple of tiers actually here it looks like. So there we go. There's a mm-hmm. success. There's another success. Ow, I just hurt my finger. Um, and here we go. There's another 100% success. Watch me actually fail one of these. I'll be so pissed. Uh, it's mathematically wait, wait. impossible. No, it's not. No, no it's, it's not. not. Look what just showed up on my screen. Oopsie poopsie. You sons of jerks. Now watch. Watch this fail. Watch <laughs> this. It will not fail. Fail. Wa- be positive. Watch this fail. I will. I will not. I will throw something. You, the, I, the, the stream will end because I will break something in here. You'll smash your computer. Okay, it worked. I am so positive. I'm full of positive Yahtzee. energy. <laughs> there we go. Thank you for the positive energy. Appreciate it very much. Now um, let's tear it up and get that refinery again. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to tear it up now. We're going to spend a couple of catalysts. We're going to get the tear up and we're going to go and redo the uh, refinery again. Okay. Oh, I'm so, so happy. Yep, 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 yep. So we're going to come into the refinery, go to the Forbidden Tech folder, and here is our next refine. Let's see. Let's see how much it goes. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, yeah, your first pull was still amazing. Come can't on. Win, can't win them all. All right. Uh, so now let's uh, let's go back in here. Let's do it again. By the way. I personally, Juby says tier 10 is enough for the whip. Me personally, I find value higher than that. I go to tier three all the way. I plan on taking it to level 25. Ooh, all really? Right. Yeah, I'll tell you why, guys. I'll tell you why. We, we, we did this. We talked about this on a previous show. Uh, where's the, here we go. Here's the I button. Watch what well, happens. No, but here. when we talked about it, you said tier ten was your holding point. Uh, point. yes, and then people changed my mind. Look here, look here, look here. Okay, tier two, level ten. Ten. Mm-hmm. I'm on the wrong. I'm on the wrong one. Hang on a second. Where's the whip? Where's the whip? Whip, 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 whip. There it is. All right, whip. All right, so let's take it down to tier two, level ten. That's where you're getting most of your mining speed. Okay, that's where you're getting mm-hmm. most of your mining speed. Watch what happens at tier three. Am I going to get more mining speed? No. 
I now start to significantly increase my cargo capacity. And then at level 14 and 15, I'm going to get more speed. Then tier mm -hmm. four comes. Not a whole lot of speed, but my cargo capacity takes significant jumps. Okay? And I get a tiny bit more speed. Then at tier five, level 25, my cargo capacity takes massive jumps. And the Fisha caps out on CLAT speed. Okay? Right here is my holding pattern because okay. the speed does not get any higher at any higher tier. 48,000 is it. Max cargo capacity is 150,000, but at tier five, I've got 125% instead of 150%. It's not worth another four tiers for the mining rate or 25% cargo capacity. I like tier five, level 25 for the benefit. Now, if you're going just for mining speed, I agree. Tier 2, level 10. But if you if you find value in that cargo capacity, which I do for Voyager, for mm -hmm. Tally, all right? If you find value in cargo capacity, then take it on up. All right? Take it on up. So let's level this thing again. Ding, ding, ding. There's level 6. Let's go to level seven. Come on, come on, come on. If I fail one of these, I'm going to be so, you, seriously like you guys don't even know what's going to happen. Uh, okay, 99.9%. Uh oh, I'm losing favor now. 99.98%. Watch, watch. I'll take it. Watch me fail. Watch it. Just watch it. Oh, I'll be very, very upset. <laughs> okay, uh, and here. Oh, I got to go one more level. One more level. 99.97%. Ooh. <laughs> is, it, is it weird that we are freaking out right now? Freaking out uh, over 0.03%. Like, is that? Yeah, and it used to be 55%. Ar Archaeus, listen. You can say 99.97%, but, but I have that kind of RNG. <laughs> okay, I have that kind of RNG. All right, uh, let's tear this thing up again, which this will be my last tear up. I have no, I don't have enough catalysts to go any farther. So we're going to go and tear it up again, but we are going to also come back in and now triple collect on our refinery. Let's hope for some more proto matter. Here it is. Come on. Come on. Give me some of that juicy, juicy proto matter. Mm. 81 trial bells, which is a day's worth of bells. Uh, that's not terrible either. That's still better than three epic shards. All right. I'm cool with that. Now, uh, we're going to come back in because I, I can also earn proto matter. Not 30,000, but I can earn proto matter with the bells. All right. Uh, so let's see. Wrong button. So now I'm going to come in here. We're going to come back to the whip. I'm going to upgrade it some more so I can work on that cargo capacity because I do still have more proto matter for these last five levels. I just won't have enough tear up catalyst to take it again. And I potentially upgrade your building as well. Maybe. What? Building doesn't you might. score points. But don't you get rewards for upgrading the building, which may give him more stuff to upgrade other things with? Not Catalyst. It doesn't give Catalyst. Oh. Yeah, the building's all about proto matter. No, and you still couldn't have used the proto matter to upgrade the building because that's time gated. Everyone's reminding you to go to the gift tab to collect the things from the tier ups. Oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. So tier two. More bells and Ooh, what's in here? Tech More reactors. Bells. Uh tech reactors. Uh, stupid. So oh, you there know. you go. All right. Yes, I did it. I got the gift tab. All right. Now, uh, I can't get enough to upgrade the building because you're you're on a cooldown with that one. So uh and I'm still five hundred five hundred tokens away, which is at least four or five days away from getting enough just to get it to level 23. But now I am, I mean, I'm creeping closer. 23, I'll be there in five days. I'll get 23. But then I do have to go on 
uh, higher to get to 25 before I can start unlocking the other rares. Yeah, let's go ahead and open up the treasury. Got that. I, I'm i not displeased with any of these three officers. That that was a big driver for me. But again, like I pointed out earlier, the uh, dilithium was super huge for me. That I, I'll focus. Uh, I'll buy. I'll buy something if it's deal rich. I'll buy something if it's deal rich. How did I get twenty nine million latinum? I don't know. K nine two. Tell him how I got twenty nine million latinum. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to admit to it. Somebody else tell Pax, him how I got twenty. Packs are a great thing. <laughs> somebody that was else your seven of nine spree. Somebody else tell him how. Yeah, that that honestly that was my isolytic uh, my isolytic spree last month. I haven't spent a lot of it. So, um, anywho, looks like I've got some artifacts here I can tinker with a little bit, too. Should probably be saving these for a research event, but, you know. Eh. Eh. So, how did you do in the event? Uh, let's go check it out. I should be doing pretty daggone good, actually. I would imagine. I should probably be top ten. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I'm in the whale bracket. Oops. Oh. I'm in the whale bracket. So no shack shards for me. But I will get two pulls out of this amazing revenge. Oh, no, sorry, one. I'll get one pull. That's <laughs> 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 uh, good, you know, whatever. There you go. And you're the proud owner of your Frangie whip. I do have a whip. So now let's go ahead. Oh, my God. Oh, no. It's just fusion rods. I forgot about that. I was going to say, let's just go ahead and equip it. Uh, there yeah. we go. Let's go and do that. But I've got to unlock the slot, which means I need the fusion rods, which I've got. Boom, boom, boom. And equip the whip. We're going to equip the whip. Equip the whip. Actually, that was not smart. I probably would have put it on my Voyager first. <laughs> oh, well. Because I'm not mining isogen anymore. Dang. Yeah, I probably would have done that. Um, Wildstar says, I'm in the whale bracket and in sixth place. Well, good for you. <laughs> good Show for you. off. Good for you, man. I'm so happy for you. You sound like it. My server 15 whales are, are pretty whaley whales, man. They, they whale out. Whale out? Well, wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Drunk for a ball. Suck it. <laughs> oh, that's Suck great. Suck it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. Obviously, I love you to death. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else in here that I really need to be doing? Let's see. Multiphasic. 17. That'd be 58. Oh, that's some crap. How many how many multiphasics are in a pack now? 17,000, right? 17,000? Yes, it went from 14 to 17,000, I believe. Look at this stupid math. Look at this stupid math. Oh, this makes me so mad. 41,510 going to 59,400. What? I got to buy a second pack? For 890, you're like 200 short. I'm like $2 oh. short of multiphasics. Oh. Well, that's nice. not fair. I need a $5 pack. Don't know, I do. <sighs> All right, I might actually spend another $100 here. Let's get it. Let's just get it. Let's get that <gasps> discovery <laughs> warped so far it ends up in Star Trek Infinite. I think that was planned. Of course it was planned. Should I wait? I mean, there's still a week on this event. Maybe I might want to spend on something else. Or, you know, that discovery does disappear in two days. Nah, it'll be back. Mm-hmm. Oh, look! Replicator tokens, 1999. That'll put you over the edge. Yeah, plus a hundred dollars. 
I got to do a hundred dollars and then another pack. So I can't even do the discovery one. Well, if you want the warp 350, you can. <sighs> Man, I didn't want to do this tonight. How else do you expect to get your Botany Bay all the way in level 60 mining space? Come on. Griffin seems to be a really bad influence. Someone better step I know. in here. He's, can, he's, can, he's I be, can I be very disappointed here? Yeah, why? Are you disappointed in me buying packs? Yeah. At least I didn't buy any of the trashy packs. I just want to go on record that all of this happened immediately after Trader said goodnight. But I know. I know. Trader's oh, the voice of that reason. That wasn't by design. Trader, no way. Trader's my voice of reason around here. <laughs> she actually I'm loves your voice we, of fun. She does. She DJ. loves when we do crazy, irresponsible things. What? Don't spend more money tonight. I probably shouldn't. How many days we got left on this? We got five days left on it, right? Oh, I got 13 day. Wait, 13? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to wait. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm going to wait. <laughs> there's 13 days left on that. I'm sure there's something I'm going to buy in the next 13 days. There's something that I'll look at in the next 13 days. I do have willpower. Look, I'm not going to buy the Disco Prime, even though I said I liked it. And I have not shied away from that fact. Bubba and Ripper are both disappointed in me, but I like it. I, I think that it's a great investment, actually. Blaze says the Disco Prime is BS. I mean, not for me. I can't Disco anywhere in G5 space, so... I, no, it is BS. No, yeah, there's. Uh, I know why you like it, and I'm telling you this just just uh, scopely doing things they shouldn't do. Well, I know. That's the only reason it, I haven't the bought way it they're yet. Doing it. It's the only reason I haven't bought it yet is because it should be a natural expansion for for expansion for people to be able to use their previous investment in G5 space. Yeah, and it should it should just go up. You know, X warp per level. Yeah, I, I agree. Lot. I agree. So you can so you can use it with your G five ships as you go through G five. Now we're gonna do this. Yeah. Which is honestly why I haven't got it yet. So I will listen to Ripper, and I'm gonna skip it tonight. If in 13 days I haven't found anything else to spend on, <laughs> just for my Odo shards, it would be worth it. But there might be there, there's probably going to be something else come along. There'll be something else come along that might look more attractive. Certainly ain't those that crappy prime. I've actually heard good things about this prime. I've heard good things about this prime, but I don't know that I want. What to exactly spend on can you can you tell us exactly what it does in a minute or less? So I can yeah, put that out. Uh, oh, you want to clip it? You want me to turn off the sound? I can do that. No, just keep it up. It's fine. Um, the Prime Armada Refinery simply adds a role to all refinery options for Armada loot. So depending on how many refinery options you have, this is actually a Prime crazy enough that gets more valuable with ops. So, for example, here in the G5 chest, if I spent 100,000 loot, oh, you guys can't see it because it's at the bottom of the screen, but... If uh, I did a single chest for 100,000 loot down here, it would become, here, I'll, I'll do this so you guys can actually see it, and I'll, uh, I'll pull up the screen. So if I did one chest for 100,000 loot with that prime, it becomes two chests for 100,000 loot, or three chests for 300,000 loot, uh, which is remarkable, by the way, actually, when I think about it, because right now I'm willing to spend 100,000 on one chest. So why wouldn't I be willing to spend 300,000 on three chests? You see what I'm saying? Like, that is really, really worth it. That's just on the epic. Take a look at the rare. 
same thing, 600,000 for two or 1.8 million for three, um, all the way down. So I'm a G5 player, so I'm going to get nine extra refinery rolls every time I pull it. That's amazing. It is pretty worth it. But I haven't bought it yet either because I was trying to curtail some of my spending. So we'll see. that. How long is that one up? Maybe I think th also three days. No, the event goes longer. Let's see. Prime Armada is up for five more days. So I'll probably hang out and just see. Oh, Viper says it's G4 and G5 only. Okay, my apologies. So not G3. My apologies. Don't want to give wrong information. Do I need to re-record that then, Griff? No, I can fix that. Okay. G3 doesn't count. G4 and G5 only. But that's still six extra. That's still that's, six extra. And, but that's every several days. So that's going to pay for itself in perpetuity. Oh, yeah, for sure. And if you're stacking what the way a prime should be, that is an appropriate prime. Everybody can grind and open the chest, but I can open more if I spend. Like that, it, it's pay to skip grind. Okay, like that and, is legitimately an acceptable prime in my book. Ripper. And it will, in fact, accelerate uh, uh, directive what? sourcing. What, will it not? Brandy! What are you doing, Brandy? Thank you for the raid. What's up, girl? Man, I don't think you have ever raided this channel. What's up, Brandon? Br Brandians? What are you doing? <laughs> Thank you guys very much for being here. What's going on? Uh, my name is Ultimate DJs. What's up? I'm a cat, and I like Star Trek Fleet Command. Um, my internet crashed my stream and is crap, but I wanted to get an offline raid out at least. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it. How you been? I haven't seen you in a hot minute anyway. What's up? All you Brandians. Thank you for being here. My name is Ultimate DJs. I am a cat who likes to play Star Trek games. And for whatever reason, my mouth is not working very well right now. Let me fix it. Ha! Ah, there we go. <laughs> and now I've got one eye permanently stuck. What the, what the, I don't think my computer's working super well tonight either, Brandy. <laughs> I don't think mine's working super well tonight either. I, I've got I've got tracking issues. Wink, winking at the Raiders. It's weird. I'm sorry. I, I'm winking at all the Raiders. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, appreciate it. Yep. Yeah, we do. Uh, we like all the Star Trek stuff. So we actually were um, talking a little bit about Star Trek Fleet Command. Earlier, we were going to hop over and play a little bit of the new Star Trek Infinite, but we were talking and doing some irresponsible things over here. Wait, Brandy, you just got married? What? Oh, congratulations. I'm so sorry. Oh. What? <laughs> DJs. What? Oh, congratulations. For real. No, it's... it's... Yay for marriage. Yeah! You're your mileage may vary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Results may vary. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Results not typical, okay? Your 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 results are entirely your own. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Obviously, congratulations to you. That is amazing. Hope you guys had a wonderful wonderful day. Um and a wonderful wonderful life. You going to TwitchCon? Brandy, I am so jealous because everybody's leaving tomorrow. Everybody's going to TwitchCon tomorrow. I'm staying home. Next year, DJs. Eh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Hey, good night, Dixie. <laughs> Can't read your whole name. Sofa King. <coughs> Vic says I should go to Culver City instead. No, nah, I'm not going to Culver City. I'm not <laughs> traveling this weekend. I mean, if I was going to travel out west, I would go to TwitchCon. But that is, uh, that uh, it's, it's a lot of money. It's, honestly, it's a lot of money, man. It's a lot of money to go out there and, and, and hang out with people half my age and try to hang out at bars and concerts and just want to be in bed at 8 o'clock. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can like, I can confirm from experience DJ does not last long. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. First of all, that was private. 
Okay. Context you, clues there. You said you weren't going to tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big clip oh, right there. Oh, yeah, for sure. no, that's a clip. That's that's going to be a sound alert, too. Somebody send Honestly, it. Honestly, DJs, you or I left our own devices in Las Vegas is not a good look for our chapter in life right no, now. No, so. no, it's, it's not going to be a good thing. Um, is that really going to be a sound alert? Oh, dang it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's going to... I mean, that's a pretty epic clip. I ain't going to lie. That's that's pretty amazing. So um, anyway, I I would like to go. But honest, honestly, can I just, man, I'm too old. I'm too old. That's for, not true. I'm that's too not true. old for this. Listen, all these people are talking about all these concerts and music festivals and going to the club. And man, I'm just like, man, I haven't been, I haven't been to a club in over a decade man like if i go to a club i'm gonna break a hip all right I, <laughs> seriously i that is not my thing some right. people go to clubs others go to the buffets and you know the midnight hypnotist show and you know the other cool stuff yes, no, 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 you know, no, no, i no. would like to go if to a you, magic if you do show it, if you do it right you go to the club then you'd go from the club to the buffet no <laughs> if okay DJ yeah maybe himself for this he wouldn't return like, like, I agree. Like, I know I could do a ton of stuff in Vegas. I know, and, and, and I, and I honestly, I thought about it, but then just the cost. I was like, man, I feel like I can do a. I feel like I can. I feel like there's better ways for me to spend four grand. All right, let me just, just put that. Let me just put that out there. There's better ways that I could spend four thousand dollars. All right. To be perfectly honest with you, before I'm gonna spend four thousand dollars at TwitchCon, I'd put four thousand dollars in the Angel Fund. So, and I've already put two thousand dollars in there. I might do more. So I, I'm just, I'm not. Uh, I only spent a hundred dollars on the whip. That's not even the same as TwitchCon. Fifty dollars, fifty. You spent fifty on yeah, the whip. Yeah, fifty. Not even, not even a hundred. It was fifty. And you got forty thousand Proto Matter. How much is in a hundred dollar pack? Way less than that. That's true. So in fact, you made money. The I made, whip was free. I made money tonight. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Bro, that's not exactly how that works. Yeah. That is exactly how that works. I know. Uh, wait, I could drive? What? Dude, that is 3,000 miles away. I ain't driving. All right. Oh, that sounds fun, actually. No, no. I mean, if I was going to take two weeks off and, you know, stop a lot of places and make it a big thing, then sure. But no. Hey, what's yeah. up, Fire King? Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it so very much. Uh, welcome into the channel. I'm a cat. My name's DJ. I love Star Trek. Uh, Driver, thank you for your 12-month happy subscriber anniversary. Thank you for your 12-month uh, resub with Amazon Prime. Appreciate it very much. So, no, I thought I, I really did. I thought about maybe going to TwitchCon, but I, I decided this wasn't the year for it. To be perfectly honest with you, all right, to be straight up honest with you, if I was going to go, Griffin, you and I talked about this a little bit, so I don't, we did. I don't, I don't feel ashamed to talk about this. If I was going to go, honest to goodness, guys, it would be for the business opportunities there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. which, which probably would make it worth it, right? But like since we hit our our platform last month, Dude, I've been getting emails out the yin yang. I've been turning a lot of stuff down. Like, so I don't know. I mean, do I think that that maybe sponsorship deals out there would probably be more lucrative or more secure or more long term? Yeah, probably. But I mean, I'm getting a ton of emails right now. Most of it's garbage. Somebody somebody offered me fifty eight dollars to play their game for two hours. I said, get bent. I said, did you accidentally leave a zero off? I said, because my fee's five hundred dollars. I'm sorry. Did you did you even look at the game though? No. <laughs> no, I didn't even look at the <laughs> 50 they offered me 58. They don't they, no, I didn't even look at the game. Uh I do have another one <clears throat> coming up that I did accept because they did accept my fee. Uh and that will come next week. That will come next week. We're going to we're going to try a game. And of course, you know, we usually give you guys the uh some of the prize money there. So I've got a game we're going to try next week, and uh, we'll do a couple of extra uh, giveaways with that prize money that they're uh, that they're sending. So that will happen uh, next week. It's only a seven day campaign. I only have to do one stream. So though TwitchCon is not lost mm -hmm. on 
twitching track and talking track. There are opportunities for next year, maybe even doing a meet and greet for the community and making other business deals happen. There's plenty of things on the table with the proper planning. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. and so listen for the, you know, if even if like now I book for next year, I would save half on my hotel, you know, yep. and I would get a decent how, hotel. Then how I'm, would you book? You don't even know what it is. Right. Oh, it's as not, soon it's as not you know where it is, it's not always in Vegas. No, it was in San Diego no. the year before, so it moves around. <laughs> oh, well, good thing I didn't book a hotel for next year. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it will be in uh, Miami next year. It I can see be. that happening. That really? Would, yeah. It could be. Yeah. We. I actually didn't know that. Yeah, I, I honestly, I honestly did not know that. You yeah, know, last this year was is an Diego. educational podcast. This, this year is uh, Las Vegas, so. Okay. Don't, don't, I can see don't East Coast. book in advance. You, you... Okay, I didn't know. Where is next? Do we know where next year's is? No, nope, they have no. not. They have not announced that. Okay, fair enough. They, they, they most likely don't know yet. Okay, no, that's cool. So yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll book it early. Now, crazy no, no. enough, yes. dive mod. No, no, Paris, Paris is TwitchCon EU, which is different. TwitchCon EU is uh, FYI, I it's... am going to TwitchCon EU. I'm Are already, you? Yeah, I've decided I'm going to mm. do that. I, I've decided I'm going nice. to do that because Ripper has come over to see us several times, so I'm going to go see him once, and I'm going to do it for TwitchCon EU. As a matter of fact, you, uh, should, you should tell me because that's not in my country, but it's not far. Well, yeah, I mean, I know it's not far. It's also, but like, I figured maybe you would want to go. And I could go ahead and tell you, we are early, early planning a little bit of collaboration shenanigans with Zoe Wren over there at TwitchCon EU. So, Amazing. Yeah, I'm very excited to meet her and Shring. Like, they are, they're one of my favorite channels to watch. Hey, what's up, Anubis? Thank you for gifting a sub to Dive Mom. Appreciate that very much. Thank you. Uh, Tyvee Moses says, in the jazz music in the background. Yeah, no, I, I kind of dig it. Mm -hmm. Kind of digging it right now. I'm, I'm trying to wind down. I've been winding down for an hour. So, <laughs> uh, I'm, I've been trying to wind down for an hour. At 12.15, we thought about going off the air. Uh, Dr. Juby says, I don't know who that is. Uh, wait, you seriously don't know who Zoe Wren is? Zoe Wren has been the unofficial leaker of new content arcs for STFC for like the last year. <laughs> AKA, what that means is <laughs> I give her information that she has no idea what it means. And then she releases it to you guys because she has no legal obligation uh, to... <laughs> anything so this is a musician right djs yeah that i'm remembering yeah she's a musician so really she I, I don't leak anything i just go onto her channel and i spend a little bit of money and i request a song and she plays it she always plays it just saying she always plays it she plays music Guru says, says I don't, reads. Guru says, I don't think that's how NDAs work. No, see, I'm not breaking NDA. All I do is I go into a music stream and I request a song. <laughs> and she's very good at it. She's very good at it. Anubis says, how can I avoid her so I don't get the spoils? Listen, it's not even a spoil. Like, there's no information. She'll just play a theme song to, to one of our Star Trek properties. So that's, that's all I that's all I. Yeah. Blaze says, see the irresponsible thing DJ says without his lawyer. Listen, for the record, Scopely loves Zoe Wren. They think that those are some of the best hints that, that I've ever given. They like it. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> Do you not remember TNG when Scopely themselves released the theme song as their big reveal, their big hint? Oh, no, I do, but that was yeah. pretty neat. It was cool. They liked the musical aspect of it. So, yeah, they should do. They should actually do this more. But yeah, you know, well, they're they, they not. They like it. enough. They are not particularly the best at marketing. No, their own updates. no, really, you don't say. So no, they're pretty good. Yo, Wildstar, thanks for dropping out a gifted sub into the chat. Appreciate you. Mwah. 
So, um, yeah, no, uh, they, Scopely was first introduced to Zoe Wren when she played the Deep Space Nine theme song for me last, last fall. And they thought that was phenomenal. So I've done it a couple of times since then. <laughs> did Voyager and I did Lower Decks as well. So, yeah, it's good. She's, she's pretty awesome though. And because we've worked together now for literally a year on this kind of stuff, uh, we decided that we were going to get together at TwitchCon EU and and put together a little something silly for you guys. So I'm pretty excited Super about cool. that. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Like that, see, to me, that makes TwitchCon more appealing. Like if I was going to go and work on a project with a streamer that my community likes, you know what I'm saying? Like that's more appealing to me than like, Going to a club because I'm too old. I for completely clubs. agree, and that can happen in the U.S. TwitchCon next year as well. There are plenty of streamers <laughs> who are going that you can definitely do fun but stuff. But you with. can you can do both. I can't, can't do clubs, Ripper. You know I like to go to bed at eight o'clock. I know. <laughs> um, I do know that I talked. To... I like to go to bed at eight a.m. And you know <laughs> that. I did talk to that sandwich dude. He's going to be there this year. All right, Ooh. I know, Joker, says the guy who's up at 1.30. Yeah, but it's different when I'm out here with you guys. I, I don't know why it is different. If I am out, maybe it's the alcohol. I don't know. But, dude, if I get a drink or two and, like, I'm out, all I can think about is getting back and going to bed. But now, like, right oh, here good. at home, well, like, not, hanging out with you guys. You're not wearing any pants here, number one. Yeah, maybe I feel more at home. and I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm fine right now. Honestly. I'm good. Tabby Moses says, I'm 52 and I love the club. <laughs> God, that just sent chills down my spine, man. I hate clubs. <laughs> I, I hate them. Uh, so, yeah. That's right. Oh, well, see, maybe. I, well, Joker says, remember, in Vegas, it's three hours west. It's only 1030 there. So maybe I could. Maybe I could potentially. But. I don't know, man. Like, it's just not my scene. It's not my scene. That's fine. Vic, you could always make an appearance and check it out. You know? I, I, I mean, I probably would. I, I was a DJ, but Vic, there's a difference between being a DJ and being a, a club patron. All right? Like, I don't dance. <laughs> Except for when I have turntables. I do dance with turntables. But, I mean, you guys saw what happened when I danced last time. I broke a hip. You almost died. I did. You slipped. I did. Died. Had to replace my hip. It's a fake hip now. So <laughs> tell the DJ that I'm taking over. Dude, I'll be honest with you. It's been several years since I actually spun any turntables. I'm probably no good at it anymore. And I definitely don't have the music for it anymore. So you used to I used to pay, and that's what a lot of these guys do. They'll pay for the subscriptions from the record companies to get all the sound parts and the acapella tracks and get the instrumental beats and all that stuff. Like I used to get all that stuff. I was a legitimate DJ, but I don't, um, I haven't done that in years. So I don't even have yeah. any, I don't have any of the work parts. I don't have any of that stuff now. In our day, the labels would send them to us on CDs. <laughs> yeah. Now I did for free. I did trade. Yeah, they did send them for free. I did transition over to digital at one point. I started doing everything on MP3 and Wave. Um, but yeah, I had to pay. I had to start paying for that stuff that the that the record labels used to send for free. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, it's crazy. Um, people do like oldies mixed. I'd be fine. I do still have. I still have my library, and I still have my tools. I still got my turntables and everything. I could probably do something, but not in Vegas. I'm not good enough. Blaze says, bust out them CDJs. You'll get back in no time. Dude, I've got CDJs. Pioneer, mm -hmm. Pioneer, uh, what are they, Mark II, CDJ Mark IIs or 2000s or whatever. Uh, forgotten sec, I have DJed on vinyl, but I transitioned to CD probably about 15 years ago. Uh, actually, no, that's a lot. I transitioned to CD probably about 20 years ago and then transitioned to MP3 probably about 10 years ago. So, uh, yeah, I'm doing uh, right now. And I got rid of all my discs. I got rid of all my discs. I do still have some vinyl, but just for collection. 
Um, but I do, I no longer have any of the discs. I transition to all digital now. Oh, wow. I yeah. still have a CD wallet of about a thousand of them because they yeah, take up no space out of the jewel case. Yeah, no, I, I, I got rid of that. I had books. I had totes full of mm -hmm. CD books. I probably had 10 to 20,000 CDs in books. It just got to be too much to haul around, man. So I spent about six months, uh, took everything I had, converted everything I had over to digital, put them on, mm -hmm. on you know, big sand disk flash drives, and I loaded everything onto, onto hard drives and did external. The digital everything it was is too much to haul around man so much more convenient that yeah, way. i was i was old i was starting to get old my hip was starting to hurt from that terrible you were, you were ripper's age when this happened uh what about 10 years ago no i was still older than rip i transitioned mm -hmm. to digital about 10 years ago uh is when i made that transition but i mean yeah no i was 30 i was 30 some years old so, no, maybe my hip wasn't starting to hurt then. But, I mean, I was starting to slow down a little bit. I'm starting to slow down a little bit. Now my hip is rotting from the inside out. So It's because I did all those DJ stuff. Uh, Technics. Yeah, I had a set of Technics at one time. Those are the way to go. Technics were the best. Uh, no, Pioneers were the best. Uh, I like them both. I pioneers were my favorite. The CD CD CDJ or CDK, whatever they were. CDK. Uh, CDJ. Yeah, those are those. Yeah, yep. yeah. Those those were those were my favorites. Yeah, CDJ. That's what it was. I'm talking about Technic CD players in the '90s. They made commercial ones that would be in many. Oh radio stations. yeah 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 yeah. You're talking about the 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 big. They were almost like they were their own cart machines. You put the they disc. were carded CDs. Yeah, yeah, they were carded CDs. Yeah yeah yeah. So, um, Trek fan says if Taylor Swift was there, what song would you want? What Ooh. if she was singing or if she was there dancing and I wanted to sing a song and dance with her? What are you talking about? Uh, Cause there's two different answers. <laughs> Wildstar. Yes. I am rotting from the inside out. Aren't oh, we all? yes. We're all day dying one day at a time. Trek fan says both. Uh, so if she was singing, Hmm. Man. I would take some solid eye contact during blank space. I was thinking that or love story. Mm hmm. Yeah. And then what would I want to dance with her to? Um, probably some movie theme song. Like. <laughs> from Aladdin or Little Mermaid or something like that. Something super cheesy and romantic. Yeah. Oh, slow dancing is on the table? Oh, yeah, that's, well, that's what I thought. Different... Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not going to I'm not going to bump and grind with Taylor Swift on the dance floor. Yeah, I want to sex you up. That might be a good one. That's right, Juby. I can show you the world. Something, something, something. Oh. Something. Now I got to look up the lyrics. I'm going to sing it. Tell me, Taylor. You got to replace Princess with Taylor in the lyrics. All right, we're going to do this. Aladdin. Lyrics. Oh, no. <laughs> of course, it's in the frisky chipmunk <clears throat> voice. Why not? I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, Taylor, now when did you last let your heart decide? I feel like that is uh that's a smash hit right there. All right. <laughs> Tabby if only your board this. had a uh, pitch correct. <laughs> I think it does, doesn't it? Does it have uh, auto-tune? Prob probably not. I don't think so. Oh. Yeah, probably not. That's a shame. I thought I had auto tune. I have to pipe that in there for you. <laughs> I thought it did. All right, maybe not. Blaze says, "Please, someone tell me they got the clip." I mean, you can always come back and clip it. It'll be fine. <sighs> I can open your eyes, take you wonder by wonder. 
over, sideways, and under on a magic carpet ride. A whole new world. Nah, see, that one doesn't have as much pitch pitch control in it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tavi Moses says the pain in my ears. Yeah, no, I, still I wasn't expecting the second verse. I'm a, I'm elated. All right, yeah, I even turned off the uh, the background sound so you guys could get a good clean cut. <laughs> All right, you got you got a good clean cut there. Okay, nobody complain about nothing. All right. Uh, wait, the whole song is innuendo. Is it really? No, it's not. It was a freaking cartoon, man. Actually, I know a lot of Disney stuff was was innuendo. A lot of that stuff was. Yeah, I mean, take you wonder by wonder does not leave much to the imagination. Wonders of the world. There's seven of mm-hmm. them, Griffin. Oh my gosh. Okay, seriously. I wonders think you want to show of- Taylor the eighth wonder of the world. What is the eighth wonder of the world? There is only oh. seven. Use your imagination. Wait, what are you? <laughs> Juvie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Nailed it. I can't even say that. Jeez. <laughs> That's funny. Taylor Swift is the eighth wonder of the world. That's right. What are you talking about? Yes. <laughs> That's so good. Mm-hmm. Anywho. Oh, wait. The eight, there is an eighth wonder of the world? In MacArthur, Bernie Falls Memorial State Park in California. Did you know, DJs, that they, quote unquote, whoever's in charge, has replaced the original seven wonders of the world with seven new wonders of the world? Wait a second. What? Yeah, I just found this out last year. Apparently, they, quote unquote, decided that Who's there's they? only one of they. They decided that only one of the seven wonders even still exists anymore. And so it's like, forget it. Those are the legacy um, seven wonders. Here are the new seven wonders. Who is they? I didn't vote for it. <laughs> just some random people decided, hey, we're going to change the wonders of the world. All right. Yeah. Just, just going to throw gonna... that out there. All right. Wait. So they are. They're calling them the seven modern wonders of the world. Wow. No kidding. Seven it's a wonders, bunch of crap, if you ask me. Seven wonders of the ancient world and seven uh, wonders of the modern world. That's crazy. Didn't know that. That's nuts. Led All by right. Canadian Swiss Bernard Weber. So we have Bernard Weber to thank for ruining our our, our childhood. And Thanks a lot, Bernard. Gosh, your name is Bernard. Obviously, you were going to screw that up. Thanks a lot, Bernard. Sorry if your name's actually Bernard. I'm just teasing. But you're probably a nerd. Actually, you are a nerd. You're here. You're you're watching a cat talk about a video game that we haven't even talked about. You're watching a cat sing the the Aladdin theme song on a a backdrop of Star Trek Fleet Command at 1.30 in the morning. You're a nerd. Sorry. In a sexualized chipmunk voice. Sorry, Bernard. You're a nerd. Okay? You're a sexy nerd, but you're still a nerd. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, oh god i should probably go to bed i've been trying to leave Maybe. the stream for over an hour all right who's online we gotta we gotta raid out of here who's on um major Samo. you guys want to go say hey to major Samo? is anybody else on uh i don't have anybody else on my list Wildstar says no i haven't no i haven't what no, I haven't what? I can never leave? I'll never leave. I just meant I'm going to bed. Tomorrow, we're going to do a podcast, and it's going to have to be a little bit early because Oliver DJs has a soccer game tomorrow evening. So he was wanting to try to stream tomorrow, but I don't think that's going to happen because he's got soccer tomorrow night. So I'll have to do the podcast early in the day because I got to leave out of here at... I got to leave out of here at like 5 o'clock tomorrow. So we got to start yeah. the show probably no later than like two o'clock mm. Eastern. No, Griffin's mm. from out west. He's in he's in California. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'll have to I'll have to do it a little bit early tomorrow, and I probably 
I probably won't do anything tomorrow night unless it's a little bit late. Nah, I probably won't. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. I'm not going to do anything tomorrow night because those double show days are really hard. So I'll do the podcast early in the day, and then we'll uh, we'll come back on Twitch Thursday night. And actually, it might be uh, we might look at Infinite more on Thursday night. I don't know. It depends on what's going on in Star Trek Fleet Command. As you can see tonight, there's been a whole heck of a lot. You should play that game more. I, I like it. I am. I'm playing it more off air. I need to do better. I need to learn more before do you, I... Do you do you want some training? I'm trying to learn. Oh, you know what? I did... Oh God, it's too late now to start that, but I do have a no, couple of questions. Yeah, no. Listen, if you, if you want to you know, have a bit of a training session, just hit me up. I really do. Do you want... I've got I've got a couple of questions. Like I can't figure out how to uh one of my one of my training missions is to send a spy ship to spread propaganda to a neighboring system. Well, I can't find any buttons for spread propaganda. I sent my ship to a neighboring system, but it's not doing anything. I can't complete the mission. I don't know what to do. You're supposed to like Again, drop uh, it, fires you, from your shuttle pod? I guess. I don't know what the hell. If you want some help or like some some tips while playing me up yeah blaze says i've learned a lot in 20 hours this weekend yeah i know blaze what and i played a lot on, over the weekend so oh good you know if you, if you have questions just let me know like we can hop in a game and we can uh do some uh yeah i'm i'm learning i'm doing i'm doing a couple and, uh, of things I, I haven't really gotten to like building up the army or anything like that yet i'm still learning like all of the layout and i'm trying to figure out a little bit of a strategy for balancing my world, you know, my colonies and stuff. Uh, I am doing better with resource management. Like, I haven't run out of food today or anything like that. But the Klingons did declare war on me and destroyed all of my warships. Of course they did. Yeah. So I had to start over with that. But somehow, even though they destroyed all my warships and I lost the war... Uh, I still didn't like lose the game or anything. I'm not like they didn't no, take no, all. They, they didn't take uh, all my the bases. Early wars are usually just humiliation, and they don't have really any impact. Yeah, yeah. They just um, well, wait, except okay. you're losing stuff. Wave says, click on a spy ship. Look under civilian ships in the outline. Yeah, I, I got that. I've got a spy ship. Go to leaders, recruit a spy. I did that. Go go to an enemy system, and mm -hmm. click on an inhabited planet. And spread propaganda will be one of the options. Okay. What about, is it an enemy system or yes. just a different faction? Well, a different faction should work. I don't think it has to be, and no, it should just work, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Quasad, I, I like it too. And I've, I've really been enjoying my time spent in there. So, like I said, that's what I'm kind of working on right now is just trying to figure out the economy piece of it. And efficient ways to like build ships and balance the economy and keep, you know, enough food on the table and things like that. I know Wardod would probably still kill me very, very quickly because he's a big believer in shock and awe. He'll build a gazillion <laughs> ships. He'll build a gazillion <laughs> ships and not worry about having food for any of them. But he can also kill me fast enough that his troops won't start dying from starvation until but after I'm dead. Your, you would you would be surprised, DJ. At what? Just again, Blaze Water and I have been playing quite a bit on the weekend. Which means I'm gonna get my butt kicked again. That's why I offered. If you if you wanna you know <laughs> have a bit of a guided training uh game, Well, I I, game, I am and I will. Know. I will and I am. I'm I'm trying to learn through it. And right now, like I said, I'm just kind of trying to still get familiar with everything. Like what are the functions? Like you know, spreading propaganda, for example, and, you know, building ships or doing researching anomalies. I started looking through the mission tree, things like that. So um, I did do the, the Federation training playthrough. It really was not that in-depth. So I'm struggling with that a little bit. I mean, it, it's it's not very in-depth. So I, I'm still, I I'm still I, tinkering. I, I honestly think, like, the, you know, again, we played on the weekend quite a bit. And it, we all learned quite a bit, so... If you want, you know, just you can message Blaze or me or whatever you feel like. You can stream your game in Discord or whatever, and then, you know, kind of give tips while while we're playing. Yeah, we should do it. If you want. That's cool. Thank you guys for the shield reminder. I do appreciate it. And yes, we're going to go say hi to Major Samo. I've been putting it off. All right, uh, guys, that's going to do it. 
thank you guys so very, very much. I do appreciate you guys hanging out. It was way later than what I intended to do tonight. Uh, but uh, as always, it's a ton of fun. And I appreciate you guys all. Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate you uh, enjoying the last little bit of chill uh, we had on the show here. Just a little bit of just chatting, I suppose. Um, but we are going to go over and say hello to fellow STFC streamer, Major Samo. So be sure to hang out and go over there and get some bonus toy mice. And be sure to spread lots and lots and lots of love over to Major Samo. All right. Uh, anybody got a good raid message prepared? Anybody got one? You got. You guys can do it. I, I, I need to work on that. That's something we need to do. We need to get a raid message. Yeah. Template or bot command or something silly like that. I don't know. Okay. Just go say hi. <laughs> guys, <laughs> thank you all very much. My name is Ultimate DJs. Appreciate you one and all. Thanks, Ripper. Thanks, Trader. Thank you, Griffin. Thank you to all of you guys who got us to our goals. Thank you for being patient uh, while we sorted everything and gave away $2,000 worth of STFC game packs. The winning is just beginning, guys. We got a lot to go, a lot more growing to do, and a lot more prizes to give away. Very, very excited about the growth and the future of this community and this platform. Thank you guys so very much. I am your friendly neighborhood cat person, Sam Meow for now. I love you, man. I catch you on the next one. Good night, everybody. <laughs>